Hello? Oh my goodness. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is another night of Pacific Drive. I decided <laughs> I I would go just straight into game and uh, just just get the gameplay going. You know, today I'm uh, oh, this is my first time like napping before a stream, and I I feel like um <laughs> a little disoriented at the moment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna warm up, get into it. But dude, Amon, welcome, <laughs> Mark Hoffman, also known as Vote. Welcome, welcome. I, I also realized you guys, uh, here. I should move you guys around. Be up here or something. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> ah, welcome, welcome. Amon, I cannot believe he says that he's working on his roof right now. His roof got damaged, and he's not talking about in Minecraft. His real roof got damaged, so he'll be, he'll be lurking. Goodness gracious. Well, I wish Amon the best of luck in that. <laughs> Uh, doesn't sound like a fun time. I feel for you, bro. Does not sound like a fun time. Here, I'll, I'll get. I'll keep the BGM going since all I'm doing in game right now, I think, yeah, is is fixing up, fixing up this old the old girl here, fixing up the old girl. Let me uh, get the status going. What, what else we got to do? We got to fill the tank. We got to charge the battery. We got to do all this stuff. All this stuff. <clears> hmm. <throat> but yes, you guys may or may not have seen. Um, I put out a poll today. Just simply asking what's sort of what's the what's the status how we feeling about yakuza 4 right because as much as i love the game <laughs> it is very story heavy and i realize it's a long game you know there's gonna be a lot of streams where that's going on so i thought maybe maybe on this channel i should keep like the longer plays i mean this game is a special exception because i get the uh i get the general vibe that people people enjoy the pacific drive it's not super heavy on the uh, on the story you know you can hop in at any stream and just kind of understand generally what's happening you can miss a couple and come right back and everything but <laughs> with Yakuza it's like if you miss one stream it's like Whoa, what's going on the, the game is so story heavy that it doesn't really apply itself too well for streaming and all that so that's what that poll today was about on my channel in the community tab just to like gauge sort of do people want me to maybe finish it in uh, finish it offline and record it and upload it to you guys or if you would prefer for me to um, Like just play it in my own time. I think last I checked <laughs> Most people said like I'll oh, just play it in your own time. So that that'll I think that'll ultimately be the winner but I'll give it until uh Until like Sunday when I'm putting together the schedule for next week because it's just not a great idea to put two long form games like Pacific Drive or Yakuza within a three a three day a week schedule you know because then it leaves me just kind of only one day to do whatever like Counter-Strike or Tekken or a uh, cool new indie game or in experimental ideas or a anything I want it only leaves me only leaves me one day to do that a week so it was pretty constricting so I think that Yakuza 4 at the moment is going to be the one on uh, on the chopping block, just to get it out of the way and free up the week for other things. <clears throat> and let me, sorry, Mark. Uh, oh, and Jeff too showed up. Welcome. Good morning. Yeah, good, good morning. <laughs> More good morning. <laughs> you accidentally ran somebody over. <laughs> now you you are the most wanted person in Gmon because you ran over a general in a Gmod army dark RP. Dude, I, I can never get into dark RP personally. They look so like funny, but I, I could never play them. I was always more of a, a TTT person. I, I love Trouble and Terrorist Town. Mm. Fortnite Fridays will finally happen. Small price to pay. <laughs> yeah. You get the Mahjong game out of the way and you can get your Fortnite Friday. For sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure, Jeff. 
And what happened to Tekken 8? It's been so long since I played it last. I know, Mark. I know. It, that's it's been feeling that way to me too. That's why I'm uh, that's why I'm like taking it off. I just uh, I'm taking uh, probably taking Yakuza off. It's just it feels like uh, yeah, like there's just too many. There's two consistent games and only one free slot. So that one free slot was Counter Strike. Uh, this week it's like uh, it's the hand cam and also was Minecraft yesterday. Oops, what did I just press? Oh, nothing. Okay, good, good, good. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just you know as as the new streamer that I am, I'm just learning to manage a a three day a week schedule better. Because the four days that you're seeing this week, guys, is not normal. Okay. I'm not going to become a four day a week streamer. <laughs> it's a special occasion. It's a special occasion. I was going to do this hand cam Lego build like another week, but because the Lego store happens to include free Easter themed Legos with my purchase of what I actually wanted to build, that's when I decided, okay, this is going to be a, this is going to be like a, an Easter themed stream right here. So that's, that's why like it's scheduled for like this Saturday, like it's happening this week. And I didn't just save it for another Thursday or Friday or something. <clears throat> dark RP is kind of too dark, but normal RP is better. Does the dark RP actually imply like the, the, the uh, sort of the, the edginess of it, I suppose, or like the, the humor of it, like dark RP is generally more serious. I kind of thought dark RP was Gmod's default name for RP. I thought that everything was dark RP. Dark RP is intended to be cops versus robbers. Oh, I see, I see. Good times. Very good times on Gmod. I'm still, I'm still for that idea. If you guys want someday to, uh, to do some, <laughs> some, some TTT or some sort of similar, similar sort of thing, a community Gmod night of some kind. Uh, I don't really think I'm like a sandbox Gmodder, but more like some sort of game mode. Like TTT or uh, I don't know, uh, murder or what, whatever else Gmod has going on these days. I have no idea. I, I really, I only played two things back in the day. I played Gmod Tower and I played TTT. <laughs> Those are like the two things that I have like 130 or 140 hours in Gmod because of. It's those two things. That's it. <laughs> Damn, I still have no repair putty. That's such a shame. Hmm. Gmod Tower. I know. I know. Speaking of Tower, it's also been a little bit since Tower was on the channel. It's been... Oh my god, can you guys believe it? Like a month and a half since Tower was on this channel. We're nearing 100 subs, guys. We might need to do another Tower stream at 100 subs. This time featuring viewers who are welcome to join in. Perhaps, perhaps. Let me get the repair putty here. <laughs> Getting on tower right now, it's time to grind some units. You do that. You do that, Jeff. <laughs> you go ahead. Hmm. And Dark RP is just the most popular one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You're close to finishing your condo expansion? What? Oh, you're grinding units to finish that crazy condo. Yeah. That's right. For those of you who don't know, Jeff has like an absolutely ridiculous condo. Like, actually ridiculous. <laughs> if anyone, if, if you're in my Discord, you can like check my Steam profile and go to my screenshots. And it's one of the more recent screenshots. It's a Tower Unite screenshot showing off Jeff's, uh, what he calls a condo. But really what it is, is like a, a, a diorama. Like it's like, it's a city. It's a diorama city. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> hmm. TF2 st stream would go hard. I should do, I should do a TF2 stream too at some point. Revisit it, right? Oh, I loved TF2 so much. Was, that, that's the reason I got into PC gaming was when TF2 uh, went free to play. That's when, that's when I like I got hooked. Twelve years ago, crazy. Hmm. Recently, Barry asked to check out the progression and gave you some good inspiration. Ah, oh, so after you finish this bit, straight to the next big expansion. Oh my God, you, your ideas never stop. 
They never cease, do they, Jeff? You're always ambitious. Always on to the next. I love that. Oh, I should, like, store these, too. Where do these go? Uh... I guess they kind of go in this cat. I realize there's two lockers, by the way, guys. There's a locker back here that I've defaulted to. <laughs> and then there's also a locker out here in the front, which I should be using because it's just easier access. Hmm. Um, also, why don't I have members? Oh, so for your information. Oh, by the way, welcome, Bush. Welcome, welcome. Uh, for your information, but I, I'm just going to call you by your display name. I hope you're okay with that. I It's hard to like keep in mind vote F2P every time I see Mark Hoffman. <laughs> so I'll just say Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Um, the reason that I don't have uh, like memberships yet is because I'm not, um, uh, what's it? I'm not monetized. This channel is not yet monetized. How does it work? It's in order to get memberships open to you guys, two things need to happen. Two things need to happen. First off, let me use my other hand that's not covered by the controller. <laughs> first off, I need to reach 500 subscribers. That's that's the first hurdle. Then another hurdle, the second hurdle, is 3,000 hours of watch time across everything, from live streams to videos to whatever. Those are the two requirements before you're allowed to monetize and get memberships on your channel. Because trust me, I would love to open memberships for some of you guys. I mean, open them for everyone, but see some see some badges in there or something would be really cool. Um, I've been I've been really busy this week commissioning emotes for the channel, but obviously I'm not membered yet. I'm not partnered. I'm not monetized, so I can't do that. That those emotes will just be um, they'll be pretty much for the Discord. For now, we'll just be using those emotes, the stickers, and and normal emotes in the Discord channel. Which, by the way, if you would like to join the Discord channel, exclamation point Discord in the chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's what they're going to be used for for now. But I'm just kind of, you know, I'm getting those emotes ready beforehand. Uh, just sort of putting, organizing all my, all my eggs. And it's, it's been, it's been, a, yeah, it's been busy. It's been a busy week. What the? You just took your Japanese friend to Chick-fil-A for the first time? Can you, you, would you believe me if I said I've still never been to Chick-fil-A? Period. I still haven't. I don't know why. They seem like they have, like, really nice... <laughs> <laughs> really good sandwiches, but I have not been there for some reason. I always see it, and it's never like an idea to stop there for... I, you tell me why. I don't know. I seriously have no idea. <laughs> don't worry, I'm gonna call your whole family tree to sub to me. <laughs> yeah, t tell your tell your, your grandma, your grandpa, your great-grandma, your great-grandpa, your deceased ancestors. Tell them all to subscribe to the, the Blue Horizon channel here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash at Blue Horizon VT. Resurrect them from the grave. I get everyone in. <laughs> All right. So now we are. Is this the mid zone? I, I, I guess this is going to be the, the mid zone right here. This is the run. Yeah. All right. Cool. I will. Uh, I will duck the music. And bring the game fully up now that I'm done with the whole uh, repairing car segment of the video game. Hmm. I need to go. Customer service is great. Food is impeccable. And their sauce is immaculate. Oh, high praise from Bush. High praise from Bush. Damn. I guess I do. <laughs> I guess I do. The next time I see it around... I and I, I'm like you know we're not on a, in a hurry on a way to, on our way to somewhere else. I will. I will go to Chick Fil A. I will try it out. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll mention it on stream when I when I do. If not, then uh, you can you can remind me every every month or so. Be like, hey, have you gone to Chick Fil A yet? Hey, have you gone to Chick Fil A? Yet? <laughs> oh, oh, we can like skip E7 and go right to G1. Yeah, let me let me just go straight to G1. Mm. And let me drink some of my hot cocoa, because I have some hot cocoa here as well. Mm. Ah. Warm whole milk. Mm. Yummy. What? Uh oh, we hit a middle point. We hit a tunnel area. 
I forget what they call these zones. Uh oh. So the map, yeah, this is one of these zones where the map is like you're going through a uh, underground highway. What is that? Why does it do that? Why does it blink? Why did? Why does it? It makes a noise that I don't like. <laughs> My car. What the? Wait, let me read that billboard. Hold up. There was a billboard back there. Go the distance. Radius Motors, 1973 Plasma. 1973? Wait, so this zone isn't like stuck in the 50s, it's stuck in the 70s? Have I had it wrong this whole time? I thought it was stuck more like in the 1950s. Did station wagons exist in the 50s or were they more of a 70s phenomena? I don't even know. I always assumed station wagons like started in the in the 50s. But maybe I'm wrong. Whoa. So there are harmful anomalies in this little middle area. <clears throat> it's not all sunshine and roses once you're here. I also don't appreciate that my headlights are constantly flickering. <laughs> And I don't really know why. That's the worst part. I don't really know why, because my battery's good. I just charged it. In fact, before I leave this area, let me put it in park. And scan, and see why. Like, what's wrong with it? What the? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, the trunk door's looking kind of... Hmm. Could be better. Oh, there are some abductors in front of us. Don't cross the road. Don't cross the road. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> Threaded the needle on that. Swiper, no swiping. Doesn't, like, does this not, here, let me get out of the car for a moment. Does this not look like, like combine technology? Like Half-Life combine technology. A lot of the government equipment in this game just, just gives off very, like, combine technology vibes. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Even the, even the, the Great Wall that separates the exclusion zone from the rest of the world just looks very Half-Life Alex-y. Again, very Combine-like. Alright, and we're off. I will also mention going back to what I was saying earlier about um, probably putting Yakuza on like the, the chopping block is that I would like to stream, I think, I think, right? These are just my, just my thoughts. I believe that I would like to do three days of streaming, but then Saturday could, could be like a, um, well, let me see where I need to go. Exit out here. Okay, cool. Um. I believe then, like, Saturday can be sort of a a recording day? Like an offline recording day for you guys. Oh shoot, we got a hurricane. Basically an excuse to, uh, to go back to the... Here, this, this game is kind of loud with the hurricane, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, an excuse to go back to the old days where I would, like, you know, sit in front of a game for five to six hours and... It'll just be me, kind of offline recording, talking to myself, and uh, just recording playthroughs for longer form games for you guys. I think that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna be trying to do. <clears throat> 
starting these upcoming Saturdays. <laughs> my, my, my VOD, uh, ooh. Dude, 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 dude. There's like lightning striking the road, yo. There's lightning striking the road directly in front of me. <laughs> oh, shoot, spikes. Dude, if my headlights weren't working right now, I would be completely messed. I don't even know what I would do. All right, there's some arc, there's some power over here in the forest. I think I'm gonna try and reach for it. Let me see, it's somewhere around here. Aha, there it is. Oh, this is risky business. This is quite the storm. This is risky business. my god my car it did something funky to my car oh my battery's probably pretty crap right now <laughs> this game kind of reminds you of lethal company <laughs> would you believe it like like okay first off i haven't eat i haven't i've never eaten at chick-fil-a I've never played Lethal Company. I've never played Hell Divers. Like, do I just live under a rock, guys? Is there something wrong with me? <laughs> why don't why aren't I why aren't I more more normal, you know? Why aren't I more normal? Also, my lights are actually out and this is not good. Nothing's wrong with them. Is my battery sapped? No, my battery's fine. You haven't played Fortnite once? Or COD? Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> that's actually pretty impressive. Alright, I guess, I guess we all have our own uh, living under a rock moments with each other. <laughs> you are inside the rock at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're like inside the rock. All right. We are kindred spirits then. We are kindred spirits. Me and you. Uh oh, the bunnies. Oh. Oh. Get off me, get off me. So you saw how like my car glowed yellow there? That basically means that, oh my God, why am I going backwards? Oh my God, and there's an abductor. Stop, 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 stop. Holy crap, I hate that. This is like the worst map in all of Pacific Drive. Oh good, it cleared, it cleared up, it cleared up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn, what do I do here? There we go. Okay, you just gotta like wait for it to cross. Um, but th this is probably like the worst map for me. I just, things just don't, I don't know. My brain doesn't work on this map. If you, if you look at this map and how it's laid out, so you need to, let me put this into arc for a second. Actually, no, I can't. The the circle's coming in. The Fortnite circle's coming in. I can't. I can't. I can't. If you look at the map, see how the yellow circle's coming in? I gotta avoid it. Um, <laughs> but this map is the worst because in order to get from point A to point B, you have to follow this. Oh, shoot. Freaking left rights, man. They keep messing up my car every time I drive through them. <laughs> This forces you to go into a spiral to get to the other side. 
Like, you cannot... You can't really easily off-road it unless you have the right tires for it. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Bounce. Bounce off. Buzz off. Bunnies. Silly little bunnies. <laughs> I wonder what what about this game gives you the uh, gives you the lethal company vibe specifically? <laughs> is it the fact that everything is trying to kill you? Because that's a pretty valid. <laughs> ah no, the left right again, and the hurricane again. It's such a struggle just to do the most basic things around here. I swear. What? There's one inside my car. What the? <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. There's a bunny inside my car. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? Huh? Get off. There was a bunny attached to my car the whole time, but I didn't. My door's gone! Oh my god, my door's gone. Oh. I hate it here. I love it here, but I also hate it here at the same time. I hate this, man. Oh, no. Ooh, you see what- you see how we strafed? You see how we strafed to avoid that? We're kind of pro-gaming out here, aren't we? Hmm, we're sort of pro-gaming. I think I need to charge my battery, though. It's looking like it's pretty- pretty low here. Okay, let me- let me put this bad boy in park. Get the jumper cables out. Where are they? Oh, how's my health looking? Oh, I should heal. Fortnite bandage. Uh, where the here? There, 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 there. Jump. Jump again. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Here, let me let me guess. Let me guess what your uh, your your Team Fortress Two mains are, huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that Mark, your TF Two main is Soldier. You seem like a Soldier type player. And Jeff, if you did play TF Two still, you would be. You seem... no. Actually, yeah, would you? Yeah, you seem like Le Spy. You know, you seem like Le Spy. You give me spy vibes. <laughs> You're a medic and engineer? Oh, damn, I was way off. <laughs> so you prefer the support roles. I got you. The sit back and relax type roles. <clears throat> I admit... I was not a huge medic guy until uh, I got the uh, the Crusader's crossbow. That thing is pretty fun. I, I like using the Crusader's crossbow. <laughs> but normal normal medic gun, uh, the normal needle gun, is like mm, I don't know. I didn't feel like the joy of supporting people until I played Overwatch. I think that game did a pretty good job of making like medic type roles more fun. But it's all subjective, you know. Everyone has fun in their own types of ways. For me, I was a scout player. I loved scout. If it wasn't obvious from like how I play first person shooters and stuff, I love the scout. He's fast paced, he's frantic. He's young, he's cocky, he's brash. Come on, there we go. And I especially loved, I think nowadays it's changed, but I especially loved the old, um, like, Sandman combo. Oh, shoot. There's an abductor right there. Ooh! Come on. 
We get into the right place? We get into the- yeah, we're, we're, we're here. We got this, boys. We got this. We're almost there. <laughs> That's why I always keep dying. <laughs> what do you mean? Ah! <laughs> Yes, I was not. What is that? Trashing my forest is unbearable. <laughs> okay. Okay. But yeah, I I I was a I was a scout guy. I was a I, I, well, I played I played like everything though. I had this weird thing where like if you if you killed me as a specific class in Team Fortress 2, I felt an urge to immediately swap to your class to kill you. Okay, I don't know why I felt that way, but that's generally how I played Team Fortress 2. I played one class until somebody was like dominating me as a certain class and then I would swap over to that class. So I was very like multi, multi, uh, multi class. I, but I would say like probably top three were Scout, Soldier. I really, I did really enjoy Soldier. I genuinely did. And Demo Man. I also did enjoy Demo Man. NG too. NG was pretty fun, but I used like the gun. I was a gunslinger NG. I didn't really mess with the the level three sentry type NG builds. I was more of a I was more of a, a gunslinger type NG. Gunslinger is the name of the mini sentry arm. I think it is. I think that like the robotic arm you attach to NG that allows you to build that mini turret. I like those because it allowed me to like play a very aggressive engineer, like forward engineer. Mm. And for Scout, I like the Sandman a lot. Back when you could do the uh, the meat cleaver sandman combo, do you guys remember that? That was awesome. You could like throw do the sandman like baseball at somebody, knock them out so they're stunned, and then throw the cleaver at them, and it's like an instant kill if you hit them, unless they're like heavy or something. It was so satisfying, but then they took it out at some point. I realized the sandman no longer acts like that. <laughs> Dies to medic. <laughs> I don't I don't die to medics. Not often, <laughs> anyways. Here, I I should try looting up on this one. Um, there's a lot of excellent areas here in the middle that I should probably get to. Let me get here. What I like about those areas in the middle is they have things like repair putty. They have things like repair putty, uh, chemicals that you can use to craft repair uh, repair putty. Oh, battle medic can be deadly in the right place. Huh. I there are some like badass uh, medics for sure. There are, there are. I've come across some really impressive medics who always manage to stay alive. What are your thoughts on the random crits as well? I thought random crits were kind of fun, but maybe that's because oh, oh, I hate those things so much, man. I thought random crits were fun, like as a kid playing TF2, but I don't know nowadays if I would be uh, as into them. Oh, I should have turned right at the junction over there. My bad. Oh! My headlights. Wait, 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 wait. My headlights. <gasps> no! I need a light replacement kits. Do I have one? I don't think I do. I need to craft that. Ah! Light replacement kit. Okay. Give me this. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Random crit is like Among Us joke in 2024. <laughs> as as in, uh, <laughs> it's it's not good. Is that what you mean? It's just not good. People don't. People still don't enjoy them. I'm amazed people enjoy 100% crit servers. Like what? Why would you want 100% crits like all the time? I don't. I don't understand that. I think, uh, but I, I think that if they make a Team Fortress 3, they're, they're going to get rid of the uh, the crit system, for sure. I don't think it's really going to stay. 
too controversial. With my lights. Hello. Alright, now we're going up the right place. Up the dirt road. Minus one servers are so fun. What is a minus one server? I've never heard of that. Minus one. Oh, we're all weapons have negative stats. Wait, that does sound pretty fun. <laughs> that does sound pretty cool. Oh. Medic. Oh, no. Yeah, the medic could kill his own teammates with stats like that. <laughs> That's funny. Man, I'm getting, I'm, you're making me nostalgic for TF2 now. Oh my god. I never thought. I never thought. Yeah, let me, let me put this in park and, uh, get some of these resources going. Yeah, any positive effects are negative, man. That's, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Wait, 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 wait. The rocket jumper one shots? Oh, so it's not just like negative effects, like in a minor sense. It's like pure opposite day. Like the whole server is opposite day. Engineer builds level three mini sentry. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> that sounds so scary. Oh my. Oh, so I'm guessing the, the fact that the, the rocket jump. Oh. Oh my goodness, is that my first on-stream burp? My goodness, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> the the uh what's it? The the demo man's sticky launcher, like the the sticky jumper is also a one-shot kill on those servers. Where's my vacuum? Lead shielding. What else? What else? Anything else to, to mine here? Aha. <laughs> oh, shoot. No, it ran out. I got to grab another. <laughs> we, we diving. I mean, driving. What's up, Jerry? What's up? We drive <laughs> for sure out here. We driving for sure. Not diving. I was I was talking earlier about how I feel like I live under a rock sometimes because I okay I haven't been to Chick Fil A, which Bush was saying earlier is a, is a, a delicious establishment. I've never been to Chick Fil A. I've never played like Lethal Company. When Mark Hoffman here was saying this game reminds him a little a tiny little bit of Lethal Company. I've never played Lethal Company. I've never played Hell Divers. <laughs> When you're saying we dive in, I've never played Hell Divers. I sometimes I just feel like I, I, yes, I play things like Fortnite and whatever, but I feel like I live under a rock, you know. I'm just like I, I don't, I don't keep up. I don't keep up. I was gonna craft the uh, scrapper tool. Yeah, I gotta craft a new one right here. Bada bing, bada boom. You haven't been to Chick-fil-A until college, so you kind of get it. Ah. Everyone, like, everyone's always like, oh my gosh, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A. I mean, it seems good. I just, every time it's around, it's like we're trying to get somewhere, so we don't really stop, you know? That ha it's like one of those weird situation restaurants where it's never been, like, shown to me or to us as a family at, like, a convenient time. Lethal Company is fun with people who don't have experience playing. Ah, so me. <laughs> I see, I see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's still some lead shielding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. I still gotta... Get this. Nothing crazy, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's nothing crazy. Okay, okay. I believe you. I feel like when I try it, like after all the hype it's had, after all these years, I will probably feel the same way. Like just nothing crazy. It's good, but nothing crazy. 
Oh, I also needed to build a. I need a new door. I don't have enough for like a good door. I can only build a crude one. Ah, what's the point? Hmm. Wait, I'm I'm seeing your earlier messages, <laughs> Mark. The mini sentry is bigger than the heavy on those servers. That's crazy, dude. It's bigger than the heavy, bro. It's like the size of like a man versus machine robot at that point. That's nuts. <laughs> Yeah, before before you entered, Jerry, we were reminiscing about uh, Team Fortress 2. I don't know if you have any Team Fortress 2 experience, but uh, I was I was mentioning how like I just I look back so fondly on that game. I think I think at some point it's definitely going to be streamed on this channel, but we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see. <laughs> what the? We got kebab and Donner there. No American food. Don't have a Chick Fil A. Oh, that's right. Um, cause you said also, Mark, you're you're in a totally different time zone right now. Um, are you still getting up because of your um? You, you mentioned your Ramadan prayers, I think, last time, when you showed up. You must pray a certain amount of times a day. So therefore, like this is like three a.m. for you right now, I think, or something like that. It's four a.m. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy, man. That is insane. Hmm. <laughs> it's legit chicken between two bread. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why, Jerry, but like when you say the simplest things, I find them to be hilarious. I don't know why. <laughs> it always gets me. It's legit chicken between two bread. <laughs> chicken between two bread. That's what I'll order when I go up to the Chick-fil-A. I'll say, can I get chicken between two bread, please? Thank you. <laughs> and you had TF2 little bros, but that's it. Ah, got you, got you. Oh! My headlights keep going out. I don't like it. I don't like that stuff. I realize how pitch black it is in this game without headlights. It's impossibly dark. All right, there should be some houses coming up here. Yes, here we go. Just some uh, some centers I can like loot some chemicals and stuff to make some repair putty. Get my get my car looking good again. Might as well take the plasma here. Wow, nice. You gotta rec uh, you gotta record and edit so you'll be lurking. Ah! Ah, you're reminding me. No. I I have two days for the video submissions. For those who don't know, I'm still doing the challenge in which I submit a video every single two weeks to this channel. Um, I, I'm it's it's in tandem with some other content creators like Jerry and also Joe Bob who stops by from time to time. And I <laughs> ours is due in two days, and I have I've like barely started mine. I think I might I might need to just do shorts. I think this week I may need to do upload three shorts in instead of instead of a whole, a whole full video. I was so like I, it this week just felt so busy. I, I felt so I don't know. A lot of things happening at work and in my free time I was like, "Ooh, commissioning emotes and and organizing files and doing like any, anything else that isn't editing." <laughs> Let's see where where are the other uh Oh shoot, my, my map is in my car. Hmm. <laughs> the funny is being yourself, Jerry. The funny is being yourself. That's the beauty in it. Why can't I... I can't ping these things. It, like, every time I ping the, the thing over here, it, like, pings over here. Weird. Okay, I'll just drive left. Wait. You take it back. It's a chicken between two bread, two bread and pickles. No cheese, lettuce, tomato, and any of that good stuff. Uh oh, oh shit. Maybe I don't have time. Maybe I don't have time to sit and loot. Do you, um, Jerry? Are you a pickles enjoyer? I realized I'm in the minority of, and this goes for everyone here, I guess. Are you pickles enjoyers? I realized I'm in the minority for like disliking pickles. Like I, I would be the guy, in the meme, you know, where the ladies like. 
excuse me, excuse me. He asked for no pickles. Like that, that's me. I asked for no pickles. I don't like pickles. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand why people like pickles so much. Why is it like America's default when we put them on sandwiches and burgers and stuff? I love everything else. Onions, lettuce, tomato, uh, whatever. Anything else is fine. Mushrooms. I love it all. But pickles? I don't know, man. I'm not a pickles enjoyer. I'm not a pickles enjoyer. Oh, this is like a huge complex. There's so many hallways. We've only found... Oh, good, good, good. This is what I came here for. Pry open the cabinet. Get me some chemicals. Yes. Yes. Chemicals. Yes. <gasps> and some more plasma, too. Ah. My health. Wait, am I, like, stuck in the middle here? Oh, <gasps> I can't leave. Oh, shoot. I can't leave. I gotta, like, go out the... Go out another way. Hmm. You'll never know what hit you. You love onion and pickles? Yeah, no, it's... It adds... It adds... Onion especially just adds a nice... Nice little... Nice little spice, you know? I don't... I don't appreciate the breath afterwards, but it does add a nice... A good spice. I like it. I like it. A good, um... I don't know. It, it's not really a spice. It's more just like a... Uh... Just a slight... It's, it's, it's acidic. Yeah, it's acidic. It's the acidity of the onion. Hmm. Okay, I'll go this way. Okay, okay, okay. Now double check. Can I just drive down? I think I can just drive straight down the mountain here and then we'll make our way over. Going the wrong way. See, this is why you got you got to constantly check your map. <laughs> I don't want to start driving the wrong way. Here we go. And what is that? Oh, it just looks really weird because it was all zoomed out. There was like, from from a distance, it looked like there was some weird white cloud on the map. Is it, um, like an everyday thing for you, Mark? Where you're, um, you're getting up at like 3 or 4 a.m.? Like every single day? No break? No nothing? Oh my... Stop! Stop, 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 stop! Where's my car going? Oh, yeah. I hate those things so much. Those are by far the most annoying things. Like, it, it basically feels... Imp it's impossible to avoid them because they crop up around your car. There's no way to tell that those electric fields are, like, near you. They just happen. Very frustrating. Am I going the right way? Yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I shouldn't I should know because I see the the glowing blue lights in the distance. These are always the exits. These are always the exits. Here we go. G2. Perpetual stability. Good. That's what I like to hear. Perpetual stability. <laughs> no rush. Perpetual stability. Hmm. Okay. Put this bad boy in park and let's do some maintenance on the car, shall we? Get some repair putty going. You wonder if this game has an ending? Um, it does. It does have an ending, but it is a long game. It takes people, like, varying amounts to finish it. <laughs> it's never a, uh... 
like 100% uh, like, oh, it's it's exactly this length like Alan Wake was when you were watching that. Like Alan Wake for everybody has a very specific like about 22 or so hour length. But why oh, should putty this? Oh no, I didn't need to putty it. I needed to um to get the 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 sealant. Where is it? Mechanics kit. I need a a sealant sealing kit. Oh whoa! Oh. I don't have enough room. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, you'll send me a video on Discord? Check it when I'm free. Sure, sure, sure. Go right ahead. Oh. What happened to my repair putty? <gasps> I got another repair putty? Is my car giving me free repair putty? Dude, if that's a quirk with the car, I don't ever want to fix that quirk. <gasps> if re free repair putty is a quirk with the car, that's actually a positive quirk. I want to keep that forever. That's so good. There we go, we fixed fixed the back door here. Give me the putty. Hmm, steel bumper. How's everything else looking on this side? I still don't have a door here. <laughs> I gotta craft a door there. Uh I guess for now I'll just take I'll just take the crude door. Put it right here. It's something, right? Better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. The side fuel tank? Oh, I should have filled I didn't, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I didn't even fill up my side fuel tank before coming on this trip. <laughs> I should have. What, I, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What's up? What's up, froggies? How you doing? It's going fine. It's going fine. Oh. Let me rotate this here. Put this here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, finally we can get going. That's right, this is the small area. But we will be taking baby steps in this zone. Baby steps. <laughs> Mid zone, am I in the middle of the game? Yes. <clears throat> I, I think so. Anyways, I think so. Don't quote me on that. But I believe I am. And because of that, I've kind of been, um... I've sort of been complim uh, com complimenting. What am I saying? I've sort of been contemplating <laughs> that, uh... This game as well, I may just kind of, uh... I may, I may shelf it at some point. Because it's like, you know, it's just a bit... Oh, there's a lot of mannequins back here. Hello. Um, <laughs> it's it's a very long game, and I was hoping that like with Alan Wake 2, that would be like the longest stuff I'd play on this channel. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So, oh, danger! Oh my God, the radiation! Oh, <gasps> but all the chemicals! Oh, good, 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 good. So I uh, yeah, I'm thinking either this or perhaps. Oh wait, there's another logbook here. This, or perhaps, um, one more p Bruh. These things are weird. I was thinking this, or like, one more stream would be- would be good for- Oh, shoot! No! Oh, the abductor can't drag my car! It can't drag my car! <laughs> Eat shit, nerd! <laughs> I purposely parked my car in the corner. I knew this would happen. It was all preventative measure. I'm a pro-Pacific driver. 
<laughs> it was stuck in the corner so the thing couldn't abduct it. <laughs> oh man. Where's the other one? There was another arc thing somewhere around here. Maybe not. I think I'll ignore it. And keep going. Oh, not this way, but the other way. Mm. As long as you have fun, that's what matters most. I know, Froggies, I know. Yeah. But I think, I think, uh... Yeah, I'm not trying to be like a super, super long Let's Players for some series. Obviously, there's multiplayer games that I'll keep playing forever. Like, you're never going to stop seeing Tekken and Counter-Strike on this channel. I think it's pretty safe to say those are like my main two games, <laughs> in all honesty. But... Uh, for single-player games, yeah, I, I think I'm... Because I personally have also never really sat through long plays. I'll, I'll watch, like, someone play a game for a few streams, and then I'm usually on to, like... I watch their other streams kind of thing, you know? Oh, shoot. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Car went all funky there. But yeah, just just thinking out loud, thinking to myself recently about all these uh, all these changes. Uh, and you know, it, it's it's not it's not growing pains isn't the word. It's just a matter of um, just learning as a new baby streamer. You know, just learning. Learning to, to feel out what I enjoy, what I don't enjoy, those sorts of things. Alan Wake in Dead by Daylight sends death, <laughs> death threats to killers. <laughs> I still, that is so cool to me that Alan Wake actually has a Dead by Daylight. Oh, I should park and, and charge my battery. It's so cool to me that Alan Wake has a Dead by Daylight like thing going on now. That's awesome. It's a shame I'm not really into Dead by Daylight, but I love the crossover. It's perfect. You only watch two streamers, me and somebody else. Ooh. You know what? I know a lot of people say like don't bring up other streamers on my stream, but I'm actually kind of curious. Who else do you watch? Who's who's the special other streamer that you watch? Maybe I know them. Like not no no, but like know who they are. <laughs> hmm. I should craft another uh, jumper cable here. Ooh, good. Get more putty. Get a few battery jumpers going here. Nice. Maybe I'll do that right now. Am I sure? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Tell me. Tell me. Unless it's something you would rather keep secret. If that's the case, then don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about it. Ah, Dead by Daylight streamer named Mez. He's a pretty cool guy. Ah, I see. Interesting. Oh, and he's almost in the same time zone as you, so you can watch him. That's so true. <laughs> That's a huge part of finding the right streamer. It's like, are they in my time zone? Do they stream at the right hours for me? <laughs> it, does, it does honestly mean a lot to me um, that I, I see people like you, Mark, that... You know, I know right now, like, you kind of are up anyways, so you're watching me, but the fact that you're watching me at all in your time zone is, like, astounding to me. Dude, think about it. Think how much money we would need to pay to, like, fly to each other on a plane, right? Just think about the distance. Think about how much distance that is. Wait, is there somewhere... Oh, I should be... Exiting out the back, I think? Do I have that right? I think I exit out the back and then, um, and then go here. Is that how this works? Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, you can just walk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, well, <laughs> you'll just walk the Atlantic Ocean, no problem. No problem. The Titanic could do it, so why can't I, right? <laughs> uh Cool and chill vibes, for sure. Cool and chill vibes. Oh. On your way to catch Mez now by streamer? No, Jeff! No! No! <laughs> I, 
I, I do find it really funny when people actually like say comments like that in a streamer's chat. I see comments like, oh man, you know, uh, oh wow, four of my favorite streamers just started streaming at the same time. I guess I'm gonna go check them out. See you later, bye for now. It's like, what? <laughs> Why do you feel the need to like say that in any streamer's chat? <laughs> I'm, I'm always surprised when I read that. Just like the, the lack of, I don't know, of, of, of thinking outside of your own boots. You know, think about it from like the streamer's perspective when you say something like that. It's like, just kind of weird vibes, you know? It's odd. It's odd. Airport mentality, you gotta announce your departure. <laughs> so true, Jeff. I guess you're right. They have that airport mentality. That airport mentality. <laughs> Gate B2 will now be closing. All passengers, groups A through E, please board now. We will be departing shortly. Oh, am I here? I think I'm here. I think we're here. We're actually getting to what looks to be the mid zone, guys. I think, maybe. Let's see, let's see. I'm kind of lost down here. There's so much going on. Mm. Uh, I drive to the right here. Why, why do my lights keep like going out, man? That's so annoying, my headlights. I don't understand why they're flickering so much. I feel lost. Wait, now it's telling me to go outside. Is it? No, it's not. It's telling me, it's showing me to, I, sh I can keep going, so I should keep going. So I should go this direction. Wow. But speaking of cool and chill vibes, I should mention too, that already, uh, my 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 composer friend Funk Fiction, uh, the genius that he is, has already begun work on the day theme. Oh! What happened? I just fell off a. Oh my god! I'm stuck. Oh! Oh hell no! Oh hell no! This is like stuck. Hold on, I gotta I gotta scan for a warp location here. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. <laughs> Destination too close to user, wait. Oh, I gotta like be out here somewhere and then war have the car warp to me, so I gotta do this, yeah? Ah, I see, I see. But yeah, he's already sent me the day theme, like like just the just the beginnings of it. And bro. It's like a to destination blocked? Car too far? What? What? I'm so confused. How does how does this work? To teleport my car to me, warping vehicle. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's got very um I guess the way to put it would be like It's very fast-paced, chill. Like very, uh, I don't know. It, it's it's like something that I would put in my own like montages, like my own montages that I used to put together on my old channel. It's very like energetic but chill, and I just I I can't I can't stop stop talking about it. I'm just so excited about it. It's gonna be awesome. Super excited to hear the final product. And this one actually has a melody. I think the the nighttime theme sort of went a more uh, it, it for it for for goad is that the past tense it, it for went <laughs> for goad for went the the melody and more so went for like a, an atmosphere type of vibe here it's really much like there's a there's a there's a central melody and it's a catchy one man like it gets stuck in your head at least to me it got stuck in my head <laughs> so oh did we make it I think we're I think we're doing something right maybe Dude, it's so I'm I'm like totally lost down here. Like, where do I go? I hate this. Where do I even go? 
And how's my fuel looking too? I, I should probably put it into park and uh, get out the little canister in the back. Fill her up. MLG Blue Horizon. I did. I did have some, some MLG type montages. Like one was legit. And you know what's ironic? Is that montage actually had a a Funk Fiction song. I think that's like when I started following him was that the video was uploaded like four years ago and I used his song in it. <laughs> and <laughs> ever since then, ever since then, I've been listening. Oh, I'm an idiot. What else is new? I wasn't supposed to go back there. That's just where like an arc thing is. I was supposed to go here the whole time. Oh my, I was like trying to go down here when I should be like going over here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh. Okay. Take the stabilized access road. Yes, please. Let's do it. Let's do it. To the mid zone. Awesome. Hot cocoa break. Wow. Here we go. JCT D2. Oh, this guy is hijacking the signal. Right, ask me if I can. <laughs> and the mid zone's been marinated in all this radiation for so long. So this is the mid zone. The same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you, no sweat. <clears throat> first things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage. Otherwise, Avi's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around. You should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. What are all those like red things up there? Look at that. Whoa. It's kind of like ra uh, rainy and, and autumn like. I guess the radiation has made all the leaves look really red. The mid zone, indeed. The mid zone. Oh, I can like. Jeez. Okay, so I gotta like drive. I gotta go around here. I should siphon some gas too from this car if I can let me see let me get the gas canister actually I can siphon it from this thing right uh I think ew what the what the what is that Whoa, we're starting to see like more organic life as we get into the mid zone. Marsh eggs? I have eggs? Oh my goodness. All these eggs. Oh my god, what is that? Oh! Ooh! What are these? Are these like pseudo abductors? Don't take my. No, don't take this. Don't take this. Dude, they're just like stuffed in my car. <laughs> Don't eat that. I won't, but I would like these things off, please. Let me scan it. Bubblegum Buddy? It's called a Bubblegum Buddy? That's a very non-threatening name, but please give me this. This is mine. Thank you. Bubblegum Buddies. Here, let me let me try and siphon the fuel if it's... If it allows me? No, I don't think it'll let me. Okay, I'll put it back on my car. Any repair putty required here? Side storage? Yeah. 
Imagine eating alien eggs. Would you guys eat alien eggs for 10 million dollars? <laughs> I know, but they're very like non-threatening. They're bubblegum buddies. Look at them. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> bubblegum buddies. Oh! Huh? Get hit hard by your car? I just got an achievement, bruh. <laughs> These things like yanked my car up. What the hell? <laughs> they're threatening. We already eat eggs from other animals, so you don't see the problem. Ah, oh, understandable, understandable. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> There's no such thing as a dangerous egg anywhere in the universe. Alright, come on, guys. Hey, guys. Guys. Guys? Gotta leave my car alone, thank you. And what is that? I'm gonna like scan some things here for a little bit because what is this thing? Orb. Giant orb. Let's check the logbook on that one. <laughs> Clippable moment, kinda. <laughs> yeah, just kinda, kinda. I, I have one terabyte of VODs sitting on my hard drive from this channel. One whole terabyte of VODs that I gotta, I gotta really start, I gotta get on that editing grind, you know? I really gotta get on that. Hmm. What is what does this thing do though? What is it? Usually, uh huh. Why would the uh huh? The glowing spheres have been changing color again. They're now a curious shade of orange or burnt sienna. This seems to be their most static color. And I wonder if this signals some state of maturity. They somehow seem to be guarding those strange nests of giant frog spawn. No, I shouldn't say guarding, because that implies intelligence, but they're often nearby. What the? Frog spawn? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, challenge week is almost up, and I have not started, so I think I'm going to be going the shorts route, froggies. <laughs> Most likely for this two week period, and then I'll, I'll continue with the Tekken video for the next submission. Oh, Mark, you gotta go? See you later? Yeah, man, you get you get, get good rest, you know? Get some good sleep. I can't b <laughs> Thank you for tuning in at your- I, <laughs> in your time zone. That is crazy. That is crazy. You have a good one, man. Sleep well. Alien egg ballot would go hard? What does that mean? What do you mean, alien egg ballot? What is a ballot, Jeff? <laughs> Timmy, what, what is a ballot? Wee! Oh! Not good. Oh, I can siphon some fuel here, I think. Let's try it. Ballot is an egg dish from the Philippines. It's unique. Oh, I see. Today I learned. Oh! It's interesting how it's, as soon as it detects that like you, it's you that it grabbed, it like freaks out. It's like, no, 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 I didn't want to grab you. What happened, to, what happened to my gas canister? Dude, what happened to my gas canister? It was just in my hands and now it's gone. Huh? Bruh. What happened to my gas canister? Dude! Where's my fuel? Oh my god. Fine, I'll have to start, like, doing this, putting this here. And yes, I know my health is low. I know my health is low. I should probably focus on that, shouldn't I? Uh, craft a bunch of first aid kits here.
A lot of abductors. I'm not familiar with like any Philippine oh with any uh Philippine dishes. Wait, can I not fill the what? I can't fill this up. How weird. How interesting. How so how does this like side rack um fuel tank, the side fuel tank work? I don't even know. Alright, gotta heal again. I guess it's just generally not a good idea to be out here on this road. Fine, I'll go I'll go in. I love the look of the mid zone. Yeah, it's very light, just very uh, red all around. Very red. Oh, <laughs> my fuel canister is gone, man. I can't make it that much longer. How's it? My fuel is almost empty, too. <gasps> oh. Brother. Please tell me I can, like, craft one here. Hold on. There's got to be a way that I can, like, craft one on the go in the back here. Uh. Large fuel can, but no small fuel can. None, really? Side fuel tank? Oh, this is bad. Dude, I don't know where my... Where my old uh, fuel canister went. I think that thing took it. I think when it, when it like abducted me, it just like yanked the fuel canister out of my hand or something. Ugh. This ain't looking too hot. You know what though? No, like we're not getting out of here unless I have that canister. So I gotta go back and look for it. I have to go back and look for it. It's gotta be somewhere around there. There's no way that thing would... Bubblegum buddies, stop. Stop. I can tell those things are gonna be a headache. <laughs> They're innocently unhelpful. Turn off the car so I'm not using fuel. Oh, and the battery too. Here we go. The headlights. And just look around. Just look around. Look around. Fuel canister. Fuel canister. Fuel canister. Where are you? Come on. Where are you? I guess it's nowhere. I guess it's just nowhere. I have no way to actively, like, put this into my, into my car. Like, <laughs> I don't know how I, ah, that's so frustrating. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Game just always wants to throw challenges at me. Oh, dangerously low fuel. And it looks like my battery's pretty low as well. I can't use the other, um, can't use my other little pulse ability. I don't have enough power saved up for it. I stop. These things. Okay. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, they're so annoying. I liked you guys at first. I liked you guys at first. But those times, have, those ships have sailed. We're off the honeymoon period. Alright? <laughs> Y'all are annoying. Oh my. They just latch onto your car. Indiscriminately. What is that? What is that?
I don't know what that is. But it like caught wind of me. What is that? Can I drive through here? I can indeed. I'll loot up here a little bit for a second. Oh, but turn off the car. Hold up, but turn off the car. Now that's actually genuinely important. Aha! Chemicals, yes! Now my friggin' radio's on. We don't like the radio around here. We like it nice and quiet. Oh! It's gonna defile me! My car's bratty tonight. It said no! The radio will be on, driver. Alright. Let's see. Let's get out here, activate another... thingamabobber. Okay, a stabilizer in section D is online. Coming through loud and clear. Nice. Hey Francis, pan the car's broadcast frequency to the stabilizer, would you? Hey, come on, I can't do this without you. Fine. There, your receiver's hooked in now. And we're patched into all that sweet arc device data. <laughs> nice work. Oppie won't be able to block us out anymore. Well, I better get going. Oh shoot. Here it comes. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, let's see if we can make it there with as much fuel as we have. If you <laughs> look at my dial for fuel, okay, I'm in the bottom fourth. I'm in the last like 20% of my fuel. <laughs> let's see. Something is like up, up, up. What is this like weird feeling I'm getting driving through this area? Whoa, whoa! Damn, we're speeding. We're speeding. Whee! Whoa, look at this, guys. It's like so red and. Wow, pretty game, pretty game. If it wasn't so. <laughs> such a such a heated little moment in the game right now. I would get out and look around. You can make it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Good. 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 Good car. Good car. Here we go. Okay, God. Yes. We made it. We made it with like 15% <laughs> gas. <laughs> the mid zone crosses. Gain access to the mid zone and escape. <sighs> thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Wow. Poppy was hiding a magic teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? Don't worry, I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. 
We suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. Hmm. A little favor. Let me actually, um, real quick, guys. I will just Google. All right. I've I've identified the electrical circuit. Hold on. Pause the game for a second. I'm gonna go to Google and just see, like, chapters wise, what we can expect here. Um, what is it? Uh, a little favor. Hmm. Or maybe all chapters, and then I will look through the different names. A little favor. Uh, okay. We are two-thirds of the way through the game. According to this. We are two thirds of the way through the game. Interesting. Okay. I had no idea. Two thirds of the way through the, the garage's game. security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this. What the? Yeah, bingo. That security lock's powered on now. Try that overload code from the observation towers 4735. Boy, oh boy. Look at all these gizmos in here. Oppie wasn't operating no normal auto shop. A fabrication station. Ooh, her personal vault? I bet there's some good stuff in there. I I'm uncomfortable intruding like this. Uh, can, can you not? Hold the phone. There's a machine that prints bobbleheads? What? <gasps> Show me! <laughs> the bobblehead machine. Large fuel can, please. Give me this. I need a large fuel can. <gasps> oh, guys, I'm an idiot. Wait, was the... Okay, first off, was the fuel can in the back of my car the whole time? It teleported out of my hands back into the back of the car the whole time and I didn't notice? Secondly, I was going to say I forgot I have a fuel can, I think, in here. I have a full fuel can right there, bruh. Ah. Silly. All right. I guess I don't need more than one though, honestly. I might, I might keep this fuel can just like in here. And then move those over. Can I stack these? Yes, I can. My crowbar. I need another crowbar. Another pry bar. Sorry. Cool. Mm hmm. Now what? There's a lot of level two things in this game that I need to build that don't that are like, I can't build them in the middle. Yeah, like these, these, the lead plated doors and stuff. Okay, so I need, should I do insulated door? Minimizes discomfort. Electrical resist 15% or radiation resist 20%. Hmm. You know what? I'm so, oh, but this, but this area is super radiated. The mid zone is super radiated. So I think I may need to go with a lead plated door. Even if before I was dealing with a lot of that electricity stuff, I think now I probably won't be dealing with it as much. Here, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get the lead plated door going here. Oops. Lead plated door. Did I grab one? No. Here we go. Now we got it. So take off this crude door. Piece of shit that it is. Put it here. Oh my goodness, look at all those mats. 
And now I'll put this bad boy on. Oh, and I should, <laughs> I should turn off my car. <laughs> Hold up. Turn off my car and turn off the headlights. There we go. One more time. Charge it up one more time. Ah, and fill the tank, of course. And fill the tank. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Battery jumper. Ah, yes, I should craft more battery jumpers. Boom. And put that over here. Oh, I don't have room. Uh. Hmm. Battery jumpers. There. Uh. What is it again? Transfer X. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. I think this is good. Put these back in here. Put these logbook things in here in the cabinet. Oops, not the health kit. Hey, uh, driver, you you seen any trap doors or uh, secret passageways in that garage? No. Nah, Hoppy's too practical for that. It's probably in a locked room or uh, by a dusty computer. I'll bet my poetry collection it's in there. It's gotta be. Why would she leave something that valuable, let alone classified, in an abandoned garage? Precisely because it's an abandoned garage. I can only open this with my hands. Oh! Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand, and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppie was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. What's up, Jeff? That data could contain Welcome. what we need to help you. As in Jeff Among Us, because <laughs> there's two Jeffs. <laughs> How you doing, man? Oh, there's a secret passageway. Yeah! Look at this. Ooh! hard drive what the heck send the drive to Tobias and Francis uh here you go guys oh you did it hey you actually did it uh, uh, boy, Audi, I the Jeffs are both here yes <laughs> the Jeffs are here as promised I'll fix up his connection do you read me do you read me? Loud and clear, you old bad. I see. The comms clear up suddenly, and I find you two patched into the garage frequency. <laughs> it all makes sense now. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. So, Oppie, what's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead then? Get the driver through all by your These guys hate each other. They're at each other's throat. Uh, they're at each other's throats, man. Well, oh, gotta head out. Have a good rest of your night, man. Thank you, Froggies. You too. You take so, care. Uh, Francis, you got any ideas? <laughs> well, we know the driver needs to get Thanks to for the stopping deep, so by. Much appreciated. It's dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is, is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how in Oh, it's for the passenger um, seat. Oh. There was one other time where the mass hallucination and Whoa. the remnants intersected. Drive I see, I tag see. Route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. The visions. Oh, wow, we're more than two-thirds through the game. If there's some missions that are this easy... I don't think we have that much, um, that much longer in the game. Like, I think we have, like, four more chapters, maybe? Especially if some of them are, like, as easy as just exploring the garage and handing something off and that's a whole chapter. Like, whoa. Maybe we're closer to the end than we think. 
and I should keep playing the game until completion. <laughs> It'd be a shame to stop at this point, I guess. Hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, this this needs a... Uh, yeah, that's that's triple cracked. It's triple cracked. Uh, where's my where's my goo gun? Where is my goo gun? Uh, there it is. The goo gun. Nice. <clears throat> Jeff, as in Jeff Among Us, you're a you're a JoJo enjoyer, aren't you? You're a big JoJo fan. At least I think. If that is the case, I'm curious. What is your favorite JoJo part? And why is it part seven? <laughs> oh, it's part six, huh? <laughs> I just finished reading part seven, like sort of in early anticipation for the anime eventually coming out. I, I like I want to I want to read more uh, more like mangas and see them translated into anime. So I, I my first uh, Jojo manga because I've already watched all the other animes was part seven. The book, not the anime. Got it. Got it. Got it. So was it another? Because people say that I think too about part four, right? That part four was like really bad in anime form, but it was really good in reading form. I think people say the same thing about that. Because <clears throat> I personally, I. I'll be honest, I didn't enjoy uh, part four very much. It was like not my not my jam. I don't know. I like I like I kind of like the vibes of it, but it just I don't know. I don't know. Something something about it was was odd. Maybe it's like the coloring of the anime or something. The purple sky and so it just it just looked weird. The it didn't like feel like it really got good until the end with Kira. <laughs> um. You watched for, never read it, but it's a pacing thing. Forest fire. Got you, got you. Maybe it is pacing as well. Maybe it is pacing. Let's see where we go now. Oh my goodness. Damn, do we really need to go through all of these locations to get to here every single time? <gasps> these runs are going to get a lot longer, guys. Jeez. Look at that. I gotta go through one, two, three, four. Oh, but I can skip. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I got it. Yeah, man. I don't know. Part seven is like peak. Friggin' peak. Absolutely peak. In my opinion. Just, I think I'm just biased because I... I I seem to like the JoJo parts where it takes place in the past as opposed to when it takes place in like current day or future. I like the, the JoJo's that take place in like historical time periods. Um, I think, I think they, they end up just being the best ones. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. It's, <laughs> it's just, and President Valentine is like one of the best villains <laughs> that I've ever like read in a manga. He's so, he's definitely one of the like best JoJo villains. I freaking love him. <laughs> We're two thirds through with the same with the game, guys. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean? This is does this not look like we're two thirds of the way through with the game? We're two thirds of the way through the game, I think. We're like about to enter the the last area up here. Like when you read it, you can take as long as you like per panel. When the animation takes long as they can. Ah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, true. Hey, yo, is that my favorite Mahjong streamer? <laughs> Locke, what's up? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? I guess it is your favorite Mahjong streamer. Not playing Mahjong. <laughs> I suppose it is. Man, when am I going to start collecting these unstable, these red... um? The, the red material here so I can get some of these like later things. I only I still only have stable energy, but not unstable. Which is a shame. There's more great upgrades I could get. 
Johnny is the homie not going to lie. Okay, that's my one problem with part seven of Jojo. It feels like Johnny is not the homie. I don't really like Johnny, I'll be honest. Johnny's kind of an asshole. He's, he's just like, I, I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's, he's weird. I don't like his design either. Yes, he's blue, but like just his general appearance, just, I don't know. Gyro to me is like the carry of part seven. Uh, not the carry, but in terms of like, I, I guess out of the two main characters, he's definitely like the way stronger character to me. Gyro was awesome. <clears throat> the very mid zone. Yeah, you're right. This is the very mid zone. This whole area, this is excessively mid right here. This, this is mid. This is mid. <laughs> if Yakuza gets axed, we won't have Mahjong for a long time. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Mahjong is in the past. If next time you see Mahjong on this channel, it's going to be through uh, either like community game nights in my Discord, <laughs> or or it will be uh, like a dedicated Mahjong game that I decide to stream for some reason, like Mahjong Soul or something. I don't know. <laughs> You just woke up and came to watch the stream, so it's been going great. Ah, yes. You and your very interesting sleep schedule. Oh, headlights are not in good condition. My head, my headlight's out. Dude, my headlight is out. Hold up, hold up. Let me get the headlight from here. Oh my god. My headlight. Install that. Boom. John Johnny does what he needs to get G Johnny does what he needs to get what he wants. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I don't know. He's just uh Johnny just doesn't have that same level of charisma that the other JoJo protagonists had. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's like hard to put into words why I don't enjoy Johnny that much. But Gyro was so cool that like it totally makes up for it. Totally makes up for it. Part 7, bestest part. Bestest part. It won't ever beat part 7. To me, that is so sick. <laughs> the theme of it, America in the 1890s and you're racing across the continent on horseback in a 3800 contestant race where like crazy dangers lurk around every corner and then like the, the show is more than just about winning. Like, there's other subplots going on as well. It's not just about winning the race. It's, oh, it's so good. It's so good. They do such a good, like, job of pacing it and teasing things. And I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Mahjong Soul, hop on Richie City instead. Dude, I don't... You, you guys, you guys will have to tell me what the good, what the good Mahjong games are. But I think I would do Mahjong Soul purely because it has all the crossovers. He doesn't need charisma when he's got fingernail bullets. Fair enough. When, when he's got the infinite spin. <laughs> what is the JoJo debate stream? <laughs> Bro, I'm not doing a JoJo debate stream. I can't talk super deep about the, the manga and animes that I watch. I just... You know how it ends up going with uh, with like manga and animes and stuff is, is it's like did I, I did I like it or did I not like it that's generally generally the thing that I remember like years later it's like how did I feel when I was watching this anime or reading this manga that's what I remember just just the feeling that I felt when I was consuming it but um I did not oh, actually I should put the crowbar in a quick slot shouldn't I I've been having to reach for that recently. There we go. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do not remember like super in-depth specifics um, about like what I read. But the previous JoJo parts, I can't tell you like close to nothing about them. Close to nothing. Like I can only tell you the vibes that I felt when I was watching them. But in terms of the actual story and like, was this was this villain good? What were the what were the scenes that made it so that this villain was good and this, these characters had great character development and all these cool things happened? And I uh, I don't know. I, I can't do like deep deep discussion on those types of things. I think I'm better at deep discussions on video games than I because video games I'm like actively playing, so it keeps me like my brain is generally more engaged in the story than when I'm like just popcorn consuming anime and all that. 
Just once I'll roast you. <laughs> okay. All right, Jeff. All right, Jeff. Just, yeah, just once. Just once. Just read the JoJo's light novel. There's a, actually, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Doesn't it kind of defeat the whole point of Jojo though? Like, doesn't it, isn't Jojo awesome because of the art style and like getting to see everything? Which by the way, I am super, look at this. Oh my God, the sunset, it makes everything look so pretty. Um, <laughs> it, I, I am like now going to be spoiled by the fact that all of the Jojo mangas are like full colored, full colored. Everyone reads the mangas in full color. They're, they're not black and white like all my other mangas. I'm gonna like, that's gonna take some adjustment to go back to reading like black and white mangas after the beauty that was part seven in full color, man. What a gorgeous manga. Let's go fly. Ow. Disappointing. This place, it leeches away your sanity day by day. So for, for Abby to live here in complete isolation, locked away with only bad memories and expired medication, nothing good comes of that. I'd feel a hell of a mm, lot better if I knew why she point. suddenly cares so much about the remnants. <laughs> Poochie is goaded, I'll die on this hill. Uh, you know... Poochie, Poochie was pretty awesome. I did enjoy Poochie. As much as I didn't enjoy Part 6, like, overall, Poochie did make Part 6 a lot more enjoyable than it would have been otherwise. Who, who are, like, wor worst JoJo villains? Worst JoJo villains. Ah. I think it's, I think it's Part 5 with uh, King Crimson and, and whatever, the, the boss or whatever. I think that was like the worst. I think that was the worst, personally speaking. It was really like hyped up throughout the entire part. It was really cool, but the the actual payoff was not not as worth it as the other JoJo bosses, in my opinion. You read part six monthly. It was terrible. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, is that Canada lock? <laughs> no, this is not Canada. <laughs> this is not Canada. What makes you say it's Canada? All the spruce trees? This is Washington State. This is Washington State. But, um... What's it? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I thought that, um, Araki started doing monthly... Monthly JoJo's around part... What was it? Part... I thought part 7 was the first time he started doing monthly. Because it's like so much better than part six. It's like, I don't know, it's so like well thought out and paced and, and, and structured and everything about it feels like the story beats are, are, are concise and just awesome villains, awesome character designs. All the stands actually make sense. That's what I hated about part four, five, six. All of the stands were getting ridiculous. It was really hard to follow. Like, what do these stands do? Especially part five and six. I feel like those were like the worst examples. I did not understand like what was going on with those stands. Part seven like reels it back a little bit. Yeah, there's weird stands, but they like it's it's just something about them is a lot more easy to digest. But that's crazy. Like even for those what I would consider like not as good JoJo parts, he was still writing them monthly. I thought they only got good after he swapped to monthly publication because then he had time and energy. I wasn't constantly rushed. There isn't bad JoJo villains, there's just some more small scale. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, like I don't want to say King Crimson was bad. It was just wasn't wasn't the payoff I was looking forward to. That's it. That's all. <laughs> Lock, we gotta do the uh we gotta do an Omega Striker stream at some point, don't we? Don't we? We gotta, I think for posterity, I need a single, at least a single Omega Striker stream on this channel. One of them. Just because that game is so cool. <laughs> Just because it's such a good game. What are you talking about? 
this is the entire reason we stayed behind, to write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. This isn't like you. Mm. What's going on, Francis? Is there something I should know? No. <sighs> Francis is getting uppy. Uppity. All the time you spend, you entirely to win. You entirely to win. You sacrifice it all for honor, and how did they thank you? With a black hole in your brain. Damn, I need a new bumper. You can't tell anyone what you did. You couldn't even tell people where you wiped your ass for 10 years. So, no, I I'm not letting this go. Not for me, but especially not for you. That, 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 that's not. Never mind. You know, sometimes I wonder how much of you stay here was actually to hunt these legends. Or if it was because he had nowhere else to go. Whoa. Yikes. Dude, my bumper is about to be shot. Oh, man. Hold on, hold on. I need to, like... I need to loot some, some chemicals. I need chemicals. Bad. What are you talking about there? How are you going to say Mandom is well thought out? Is that an acronym for something? Did I just like miss a name? Who is Mandom again? I actually don't remember. Is he like just someone from part 7 that I just forgot about? I don't know. I don't remember the names of a lot of uh, Jojo like individual characters. Usually only the overarching characters that are important to the story. But he just sounds like a, another stand user type of character. Oh, shit. Ah, dude. We're going downhill. We're going downhill. I need that repair putty bad. I need that repair putty bad. I need like some some one more chemical. One more chemical. Please have a chemical. Oh <gasps> yes, I see a chemical. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. Now I can, oh my, oh, oh no. Repair putty, I need the repair putty. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I was, I was asking like, who, who is Mandom again? Like I actually don't remember that name, like just by the name. Like I, I feel like I would need to see what that is visually. And what is happening to my bumper? Electrician's kit. Okay, I need an electrician's kit here. Nice. And I'll use this putty here on this. And this. And my steel panel up top. And this tire. Which I really should get better tires. I sh Oh, I think I can craft... I can craft off-road tires. I should have been crafting off... Oh, I'm an idiot. Whatever. 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 Let me get in the core. Oh, 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 got it. It's Ringo stand. Yeah, okay. I remember Ringo. I just, I don't, I never remember stand names. Stand names are like, I'm shocked people remember them. <laughs> well, like, unless they're like a main character stand, like Tusk or Star Platinum or, you know, Zawardo or something. I cannot remember, like, just every stand name. <laughs> I th I don't know. I thought I thought man I thought that fight was really cool, honestly. 
but I can't explain to you like why. It was just a feeling as I was reading it. I, I liked it a lot. Aye, again with the freaking electricity. These things are the worst. These things are actually the worst. I'm just going to angrily sip my hot chocolate in silence here for a little bit because of that. Piece of shit. Look at what just happened to my car! I really wish Repair Putty did not have chemicals, man. I wish it was easier to get. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Now everything of mine is like on the verge of breaking because of that one stunt I just pulled. Man, can I... Do I dare? Do I dare? Do I load? March 12th, four, it, oh, it doesn't tell me like when I saved. It only tells me like the... Uh, you know what? Fine. I'm going to do it. I, I just took far too much damage on my car, man. I can't. Like that run is just screwed. <laughs> that run was just totally screwed. <laughs> because I my car was all in the red and I had no chemicals for putty. And chemicals are very hard to come by. Bruh. Here we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're good. We're good now, guys. We're good. It was worth it. Yeah, then yeah, we weren't safe scumming. We were just, we were just playing the game as intended, as intended. <laughs> oh, but I do need, I do need chemicals again for my putty so I can repair my bumper. That that progress is undone. Thirty k units time? What do you mean thirty k units time? What did bro mean by that? What did bro mean by that? Hmm. I'm gonna go here. Why does the ping not work correctly? Like I ping a specific location and it just doesn't want to, to ping that. It'll, it'll ping somewhere off in the distance on the map. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, okay, it's okay. The, the car's built to handle these things. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're surviving. We're surviving out here. <laughs> just, a, just a little little bit of a tumble. A little bit of a roll. We're good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Whoa, what are you talking about? This is the entire reason we stayed behind. To write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. This isn't like you. Check What's my going map. on, Francis? Is there something I should know? No. Here it is. Over here, over here. The chemical area. Streamer skipped your previous goal. message? Not for me, Did I? Not for you. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. For context. 
How much of you stay here? I need an electrician's kit. Actually, to hunt these legends. Or if it was because you had nowhere else to go. Yeah, it happens from time to time. <laughs> yeah, that happens from time to time. I'm too deep in the in the in the JoJo conversation. Oh, I need a flashlight too. I gotta I gotta make a flashlight for myself. Hmm. You're still doing bowling in tower. Gotcha. <laughs> don't worry, he never read mine. Okay. Sometimes I genuinely don't read it, but at other times I do read what you say and then just don't always respond. You know? Because not every line needs to be responded to. Not every single line. But it does suck when it's a moment where like it actually would have helped and it's like and suddenly the conversation is out of topic. Or suddenly the conversation is out of uh, context for me because I missed something. Hmm. The curse of Jeffs. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe it's just the two Jeffs. <laughs> Even though one name is blue and one the other's not, I'm just confusing the two Jeffs together. You guys are a singular amoeba in my mind. Relightable flare? I need a battery. Dang. no chemicals in here either ah oh but good we got some batteries okay good 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 yeah 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 okay now i can craft the flashlight gimme 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 yes nice What is- what do you think is like the best way to get units, uh, Tim, in tower? What do you think is genuinely the best method? Is it bowling what you're doing? Is it actually bowling? Do you think it's bowling? Ah, shoot. Uh, ugh, I still don't have the chemicals for putty. That's right. Dude, these airstrips are so annoying. <laughs> uh, I gotta keep driving around everything in the game, man. They're all just crowding the road. Get out, get out. Ah! And the problem is you touch like the tiny edge of this thing and like you're going flying. Oh my God, something broke. Oh, gotcha. They're doing a double X. What is that? Oh, <gasps> Barry. Oh my God, it's Barry. Hold on. He just spawned in front of me. No way. Barry. Oh my God. A dumpster pearl. What the hell is this? Whoa! That is so cool. Thank you, Barry. Very cool of you to spawn in front of me. <laughs> what? What was that stunt? A dumpster pearl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I should be going this way. Way. Wrong way. Okay, okay, got it, got it. That is very cool. I had no idea your dumpster companion will just like spawn into the map. That's so weird. You did zombie massacre for units before. I see, I see. Yeah, they are good about doing like the double XP stuff these days. Although I haven't heard about double units. I've only I've only like heard about double uh double XP. What the? Dude, get in, get in. Oh my god, my door's missing. Wait, 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 my door's missing. Wait, 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 wait. Where did it go? Where's my door? <laughs> what happened to my door? 
It's definitely lying on the floor somewhere around here. It's gotta be. It didn't just disappear from that. What? Bro, my door is just gone! Both of them! What the hell? I hate this game. Guys, this is going to be the last Pacific Drive stream I do on this channel. Um, I'm, I'm done. I can't, I, I hate it here. I can't handle this anymore. I'm out. I'm out. The game did it to itself. <laughs> Another hour of bull maxing. Oh no, I don't have leaded doors anymore, so the radiation is like get actually getting to me. Uh, uh. Oh my god. No! Oh! Bro, this is so frustrating. This is like the first area. And it's already doing this shit to me. <laughs> Doesn't let up. You're gonna hit the silver trophy in bowling as well? Damn. Next week is mini golf XP and units? Hey, hey. You're correct. We do we do love it. We do love the mini golf around here, bro. Bro. I'm about to rage this game. I swear to god. I'm about to I'm about to rage this game. <laughs> bro. I'm about to <laughs> Should I abandon trip? I feel like <laughs> no, no. Lose most items? Oh, shoot. No, I think I still keep the mats. I just lose, like, the equipment. Oh, no, no, no. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, my God. This is so frustrating. Actually, unbelievably frustrating. Like, this this game is just out. So it's out from my neck. Dude, do I load again? I think I'm loading again. We're doing... <laughs> try, try Attempt number three just to get through one map, guys. Good Lord. Yeah, I think I was uh, being too optimistic saying this stream is like two, we're two thirds of the way through the game. If this is the pace that we're taking in the future. <laughs> if, the, if the world is trying to kill me this much. Ugh. I, sh I should have properly prepared for the trip beforehand, but I didn't. <sighs> yeah, extreme conditions, shocking speed on the right, it says there. Shame. Friday and Saturday are 1.5 times XP in units on all mini golf maps. Ooh. Ooh. Very cool. I think. I don't know. I try to. The problem is, I like no life to mini golf so much that I'm like max rank in it and like max level in it and I no longer get any like rewards for um for like playing the game if that makes sense uh oh wait I should be going through the tunnel and then out this way yeah 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 I shouldn't be messing with these annoying these dirt roads these are the worst these dirt roads are the worst thing so I gotta go down here to these radio stations well, let's do it let's do it yeet Ooh, ooh, we're in control. We're in control. We're in control of the vehicle. We're in control of the vehicle. We're in control. Oh, whoa. Tony Hawk. Pro skater tricks. We're in control. Oh, look, and we have convenient arc resources for us right here. What are you talking about? This is a Mini golf is the only one with a 2 million like XP reward? Song. Really? But, but yeah, since like maxing out mini golf, I, I now only play um I only play the new Oh my god, I wish you could like shut these radio people up. <laughs> I wish you could skip their dialogue. Ah 
I keep hearing it every time. But it, it's like the... I try to play other minigames to try and get their journal up. Like Zombie Massacre, like I really want the, the, the helicopter, right? So I actually like... You know, have been grinding it, even though it's not my my favorite mini game. Like I was just grinding it, and I think that made me lose. I'll turn these guys down a little bit. It made me like sort of lose. Um, I don't know enthusiasm a little bit in Tower because I was like playing all these mini games I don't enjoy as much, just to like <laughs> progress in in journal stuff. I don't. Oh my God! There's like, he's right here. Dude, there's a mannequin inside. What is this? Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Here, now I can turn the game back up. You maxed out Ball Race and Zombie Massacre, but they're still fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, mini golf is still fun. I just don't... I don't know Life Tower as much as I used to once I got Max and mini golf because that is, like, what I like to do in Tower for the most part. I'm not a huge, like, condo fanatic like you or anything. Oh! It's Barry! Again! Wait! What? <laughs> Wait, there's another one? Wait, this is this isn't Barry. This is Oh, oh hello, sir. This is just another uh, another arc power thingy. There we go. Hmm. -hmm. Do I have the two million XP award? I I believe yeah I I think I do, I should. I mean you you're you're friends with me on Steam. You can check. Um, I don't totally pay attention to those things, but I probably do. Almost certain I do. Oh, let me stop at this thing and grab what's inside as well. <gasps> nice, 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 nice. <laughs> You'll hand in your trivia badge. <laughs> or hand... Yeah, dude. Tri does tri trivia doesn't have, like, too much going on for it. It's a shame, because trivia is also genuinely really fun to play. I love playing trivia, but... It just doesn't feel like it rewards you enough. So I, I, don't, I only play it, like, if there's some friends on. That's it. Dude, more... More arc power? Sure, I guess. I'll take another. Why not? These things are everywhere right now. Come on. Oh! Use healing item. What? I'm at 50 health. I got, I got, I got health. I got health. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You spread inf misinformation. Plaza has the big XP award, not mini golf. Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. Sorry, I didn't read down that far. It is very hard to to have a conversation in chat. <laughs> like looking looking back and forth while playing a game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like a full conversation, you know? I am realizing that. Like the reason why big streamers are able to handle bit large chats so much is because they don't have um like deep conversations back and forth with chat. That's why it gets very difficult having back and forth conversations with people. I'm, I'm just speaking, speaking my two cents as the newbie streamer who's learning. That, that's my experience so far. It's very hard to have back and forth combos, even though that's what I want to do, right? Like I want to have back and forth conversations, but it's, it's tricky. It's hard. Also, you know what would help is if I actually had if I actually had um, chat on the left and I could like look right over to the left and there's just like a big monitor. Right now, what I have to do is take my eyes basically completely off the game in front of me and look up because I have my second monitor up above the main one and I have to look up into the corner to see your messages. It's like and it's more. Yeah, it's like a little more towards the corner. It's like up on the second monitor and it's pushed up a little bit in OBS. So it's, 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 it's tricky. I don't have like the, 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 I can't like read on my periphery off to the side, like a lot of other streamers. I have this vertical stack, which makes it trickier. Yeah. But I will just read a little bit here. 
Mm -hmm. You just wish they wouldn't abandon the database? It was last updated years ago? Oh, yeah, right? I submitted questions to that thing a long time ago. I used to be like an active trivia, um, uh, like, provider for them. I would upload to their website a lot, but it's, it's yeah, they haven't updated the database. Have people still been submitting questions? Because they should just, just put it in. I don't know why they haven't. They need more questions in there. It's the same questions. Of, it's the same, like, few thousand questions, it feels like. Hmm. But while I'm on the topic, I'll have real estate available for a penthouse in the new area. You're welcome to build a crib for yourself. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, interesting. Real estate. Damn, he's out here selling selling real estate. <laughs> he's next level out here. Damn. <laughs> that's that's when you know you have a big condo. You can start selling. You can start having real estate for other people to move in and build their own condos, bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, whoops. This is not the right way. I also should... I think my battery's out. No, it's not. Okay, never mind. Wow, but so much is, like, in need of repair, man. Oh... Super frustrating with all this. The fact that chemicals are required for like one of the most essential things in the entire game, and I cannot use it. Like, and and chemicals are rare. They give them to you like one or two at a time. Is super frustrating. I I personally, if I could change something about this game, that's what I would change. Is just make chemicals more frequent, or change the putty. Oh my god. What is that? I don't even know. Dude, my lights are out. I hate this. I hate all of this. Ooh. I guess I gotta drive around now? Is that how this works? I'm gonna drive back this way. 180. 180. It's such a struggle to get through this one area. <laughs> You'll just transfer some units with high stakes poker, bro. I used to do that. I did that with uh with I did that with Mori, my friend Mori, who I think you also know. Yeah, that's that's how we we transferred units was the high stakes poker throwing. <laughs> it's uh, it's such a legitimate strategy. It's funny. It's the only way to really transfer units in that game. <laughs> It's funny they still keep it around too, like as a thing that you can do. They haven't gotten rid of that after all this time. Dude, my car is like smoking. That's not good. Uh oh. Ah, oh, shoot. I, I also don't appreciate how it feels like you're driving in the dark in this game. Like 90% of the time it's dark. I'm almost never encountering daylight anymore. That's what's also super frustrating. Hmm. Am I going? I am going the right way. Yeah, good, good, good. I gotta keep my eyes on the screen because I have no headlights, bro. I have no headlights. Full concentration here as we maneuver the roads. Here we go. Here we go. Oops, wait, I'm not supposed to go this way. I back up. And then go down that road. Got it. <laughs> uh, he spent about as much in furniture, so it was basically free. Even though you did the poker transfer. <laughs> Does everybody, does the whole, the whole Canada crew have, a uh, have condos currently in place? Does Angie build at all? Or is Angie, and is Angie just a, a minigame viber? <laughs> Oops. Mmm, eerie darkness? Oh, awesome. I just, guys, wow, love eerie darkness. Love eerie darkness. 
Look over here. It says dark. Fucking dark. Eerie darkness. Gotta love it. Oh, Sir Callum. Welcome, Sir Callum. Welcome, welcome. Um, this game is making me very upset tonight, Sir Calum. It's making me extremely upset. In fact, even though we're two-thirds of the way through the game, I'm debating just chopping this one too. Chopping this game too. I've had it up to here with this game. I've had it up to here. <laughs> now, now the runs are getting so frustrating. <laughs> oh, there's there's enough there's enough about this game that like the, the little quirks and nuances are starting to like piss me off. Like the fact that there's just not enough chemicals around at all. So you're, you're like constantly, your car is constantly getting damaged and it's, you got to keep repairing it with repair putty, which is like the most essential thing in the entire game. But it requires two chemicals per repair putty and like two chemicals. You'd be amazed how hard it is to find two chemicals on these maps. Like why do they make such a essential tool so hard to craft? It feels like my car is always in the red or always in the orange damage wise. And it's just, and you need like level two workbenches to, to, um, to craft like a lot of the essential things that I need now. And I can't yet install a level two workbench in my car because it requires unstable energy, which for some reason I don't have yet. It's like the red energy source, not the yellow energy source, but the red energy source. And like, look, look, look at my car. And now I'm in eerie darkness. It's pitch black. So unless I fix my headlights, like... I can't, I can't do anything. Like, let me scan my car and see what the fuck is wrong with it. Everything is wrong with this thing. Dude, it's like, oh yeah, fixed with repair putty. Wow, guys, I'd love to have repair putty. My front bumper is gone. Disappeared. <laughs> this game is getting annoying now. It's getting annoying. <laughs> One day you'll give up on waiting and build them yourself for the Angie and Dan have space reserved, but didn't build theirs. I see. Yeah. You'll, you'll just build them yourself. Trust, trust me. Trust me. They're not, they're not going to build it. Probably they're not, they're not going to build it. <laughs> Whatever you think they're going to build, they're probably not going to build it. Oh, you think I should just be a big boy about it and power through it or just play Fortnite? All right. <laughs> All right. All right. This guy. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you, Sir Calum. I see you. <laughs> I wish that the, the sealant... See, that you notice that the white bar there, too? Like, when I seal something up, it's considered repairing the door, like, health-wise. Why can't I use sealant on doors that don't need, like, a, a cracked window repair? You know, why can't I just use sealant on, like... Like just to heal the thing. Why do I only, I can only use repair putty to heal these items up. It's super frustrating. Even though the, 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 the ceiling gun heals them up as long as it has a crack. I don't know. It, do, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, does not compute here. It does not compute here. I gotta, I gotta craft another flashlight too. I need a flashlight. <laughs> maybe maybe I will. Maybe I'll just become a Fortnite a Fortnite streamer. Nothing but Fortnite. I give up. I give up on all these frustrating games. It's time to play a very non-frustrating, relaxing game like Fortnite. I need repair putty and an electrician's kit. Okay, I need an electrician's kit. And this one is missing a bulb, so I gotta get a light replacement kit. <laughs> now we're talking. No, oh, now we're talking. <laughs> All right, light replacement kits. Where is it? Light replacement kit. And I think I already have a bunch of electrician's kits on the side here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, and my battery is looking good. My engine is, what is that? I need a mechanics kit to finish. Okay. I guess give me the mechanics kit as well. Uh. We're playing Resident Evil out here.
Nice. Okay, fix that. I should get out the road flares too and like put them down so I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh huh. Oops. There we go. Drop some on the ground. Give me that. Give me that. Drop it on the ground. There we go. Now we can get some light around here. I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, whoa. Damn, I need a crude bumper. Just a regular old crude bumper. Thanks. Install it in the front here. Such a shame. We had a cool looking bumper before, but it broke. Uh, mechanics kits. Oh, I think this just goes back. I don't need that anymore. But I do need the electrician's kit. For... What did I need it for again? The light here. There we go. And I need the bulb replacement kit, which is... Here. Oh! Light replacement... Bulb. Oh, I just have a bulb, but no kit. I see, I see, I see. A bulb, but no kit. Or is it light replacement kit? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Screw her in. Yeah! And now we can close the hood. Get in. Turn on the car, turn on the headlights, awesome. Okay, now we're now we're sort of talking. Oh my head <laughs> See, it's one thing after another in this game. Now my my tire. I gotta take this off. What does it say it is? Loose. Fix it with a mechanics kit. Okay. Let me get another mechanics kit. It's just like one thing after the other with this game. One thing after the other. Here we go. Okay. Are we good now? Is the baby happy? Goodness. Okay. And now, where are we going to go? I guess we're going to go here. I don't know what this is. What is that? Hmm. Interesting. I guess let's try it. Let's try it. So high maintenance. I know, right? Ah. <sighs> this car's so whiny. Oh, these things are all oh, these things also piss me off. They just erect out of the ground, out of nowhere, those electrical fields, and like just actually out of nowhere with no warning, and will just zap your car and like turn off your headlights and make it so things don't function and give it quirks and Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna go on a rant again. I don't want to go on a rant again. I'm trying to avoid the rant. Guys, this indie game is very fun. Very fun. I highly recommend you play it. <laughs> See, and why are my lights like flickering? I don't get it. My battery is okay, but why are my lights just flickering as I go? <laughs> it's so annoying. And of course, there has to be eerie darkness, so it's just pitch black everywhere. I can't see a thing. Alright, what is this? What is this? Mysterious audio, audio recording. Cool. I'll put it in. Wait, this truck kind of looks like it has some valuable stuff. That looks like a nice truck. Hold up. Arda investigator truck. <gasps> oh, if only I had that tool to pop things off. I could like pop off this steel door and put it on my car. But unfortunately, it needs to get scrapped. Hmm. 
And the off-road tire. I could put the off-road tire on my car if I could just pop it off, but I can't. Ah. Ah. Anything cool here? Anything in the back? <gasps> Ooh. Neat. There are things in the back. Whoa. Hey, yo. Okay, okay. Let's get out of here. Put the mats away. Just make sure there's not, not something else here I can um, craft that would be very useful. And nope. Nope. Okay. I would like to go here. Get chemicals here. The more chemicals I get, the better I can repair my car. That is the point. Chemicals equal healthy car. Chemicals are good. Oh, excellent. It's right here. Might as well get more plasma. Oh. Do, 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 do. What's in? What's in? Chemicals? One chemical, two chemicals. Yes! Yes! Why are they so rare? More batteries? Good. 9 volt batteries are always good. Screws. Fabric. Okay, okay, okay. So now I can repair a <laughs> repair putty. Yay. All that work for a singular repair putty, guys. A singular repair putty. Now I can slather it on my automobile. Mm hmm. What else? What else? Off road tire could use a little love, too. Alright, what? The trunk door. Trunk door. Oh, why does it say the trunk door is like... Low? I guess it's low. I guess it's in the red. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I could have put it on the headlights too. Ah, eh, whatever. We'll do it in the next chemical stop here. We gotta go to this one. Since it's on the way. And there's a convenient little deposit box. What does it have for me? What the? De decal kit Arda? Black paint? Hey. Nice. Okay. That'll go in here. No, 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 no. There. There. Put that back in there. And in the back here, I'll put the materials. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Now, here we go. Another stop for the chemicals. Just to repair my car. All this just to repair my car. That's all this is. <laughs> I could just be drifting from point A to point B, but the game likes to slow you down. Likes to slow you down. Where is it? Here.
Good. Couple of chemicals. Good, 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 good. Okay. Craft another repair putty. <laughs> another repair putty. Now, now what needs repairing here? The headlights, right? The headlights, the headlights. Tire. I don't think I should care too much about the summer tire. I think a spare tire and a summer tire are like the same thing. Yeah, but what the hell. Give it a slathering. Okay. Cool. Wait, I wonder if the side fuel tank, like... Does the side fuel tank actually just allow your car to... Oh! It's like plugged into the car. I see how the side fuel tank works. It's not like a separate tank that you... So I would take this tank right here and then fill up this. Oh! Got it! So this is like basically doubling my my active tank supply, so to speak. Wow. Okay. Okay. It's not it's not just like a, a spare gas canister. It's like actually my fuel tank. It's increasing the size of my fuel tank. Okay. Now I think we can start driving to the exit. Finally. a right here. This has got to be like a quirk with the car, man. The fact that the headlights keep uh, flickering in and out like this, it has to be a quirk. Oh. Avoid these mannequins. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I hate all of these. Forces me to drive off-road. I'm sliding, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. Oh, dude. Dude. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta go back. I slid down, I slid too far down the hill. Now I gotta go drive around here. Can I please scrap this? Oh, I can't. I want to scrap the railway, the railing so badly, but I cannot. I cannot. I must go around. All right, here we go. <sighs> Screw it, I guess. I, I just got to drive through it. I just got to drive through it. The game wants me to drive through it. There we go. There we go. Now we're on the way. Mm. Uh oh. Uh-oh. See, like, what am I supposed to do here? Like, can I interact with these things in any way? <gasps> they disappeared. Oh, my car, my car, my car, my car, my car, my car. I didn't put it in park. <laughs> it started rolling down the hill.
Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Ghost, what's up, man? Going to sleep there now, but had to at least stop by to have say have a good stream. Thank you, Ghost. <laughs> Much appreciated, bro. Much appreciated. You have a good rest. Yeah, I, I, I personally took a nap before this stream. I took a nap for the first time ever. It was it, it was a little bit of like uh, grogginess at first. I, I was like so disoriented. I, I'm, like, I'm like, ah, ah. Uh, Stream, uh, oh, Pacific Drive, uh, must talk, uh. <laughs> when I was, uh, as soon as I woke up. But I do feel generally more energized, even if it doesn't 100% uh, come across that way on the stream at the moment. I do feel pretty energized right now. You'll always make it a point to wish you well. If I see you live, I can't stick around. Dude, Ghost, you are like an exceptional chatter like i don't know how you you're an exceptional stream viewer like everybody is happy to have you in their chats you just i don't know you there's some some magic you do what is it harmful to humans corrosive downpours and swift storm bruh what is this I j i'm just gonna drive through this ain't no way i'm stopping for anything i'm not picking up a single thing not picking up a single thing Oh yeah, you you go that extra mile, ghost. As a chat as a chatter in everybody's chats, you go that extra mile. We're lucky to have you around. And it's crazy you can like do so for so many different streamers. <laughs> it's not it's not just like me or or Jerry or or uh, Joe Bob or nothing. It's like everybody. <laughs> you can be you you have. As you said, there's a lot of ghosts to go around. What is this? Corrosive downpour? What the fuck? Yo! The meteor strikes. Yeah, for real. Chatter more like chatter. Exactly. He's a chatter, guys. What the? It just yoinked my door! Bro! You took my fucking door! Give me that! Oh my god. Yeah, remember what I was saying about this game being frustrating, bro? Holy... Oh. What is this? What is this? Ah! Ah! I'm getting Nickelodeon slimed! Ah! What the hell? You're officially gonna crash now. Good night. Yeah, man. You take care. You're just lucky to have them. Oh, whoa. You're, and you're saying you're lucky to have all our content? Just doing your part to give back. Oh, ghost. Ghost. <laughs> you have a great night, man. Oh. You have a good night. Get that good, well deserved rest. And thank you for stopping by. Uh oh, what's happening? Uh oh, what's happening? What is that noise? Whoa. This is crazy. What is this, man? Zone starting to close. Oh shit, not the abductor. No! No! Wait, actually, this is kind of good. Wait, this might be kind of good. Oh, almost. It almost gave me like a shortcut. Kinda, sorta. But now not so much. Ooh. Bruh. Get me out of here. I never asked for this. Ah! Ah! What is that? What is that? <laughs> What's happening right now, guys? What's happening? 
What is all this shit? Dude, I'm at 20 health. Okay, maybe I should, like, get out. And heal up. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, good. Okay, we're, we're out of the... Out of the corrosive zone. It's still gonna rain. Corrosive materials, I guess. But we're, we're out of the actual corrosive zone, at least. <gasps> or not? Maybe we're... Maybe, I, I guess we're in the... Okay. We're doing good, boys. Here, let, let me park here and just heal up. Where are my medkits? <laughs> I had no medkits. So swampy in this. The, the mid zone is very swampy. That seems to be its thing. Very swampy. Alright. And I think I'll need to use another health kit here. Yep. Precisely. Precisely according to my calculations. Hmm. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Can I craft another repair putty? Of course not. Why would I be able to craft repair putty? I never can. Hey. <laughs> What the? <laughs> the? When you break the barriers that are surrounding that like zero gravity rocks area, they the barriers are also like zero gravity. Damn. Okay, the final area here with the where the objective is. Perpetual stability? I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. And I can actually... Uh, I can collect unstable materials finally here here i can collect the red material that i need to upgrade my car better Ooh. okay let's see let's see mm -hmm. Mm. i should get some water too not just hot cocoa you're finally done. It took a lot longer than expected. Amon, holy shit. Okay, first off, I've loaded up three locations on your ARC device map. <laughs> See them? Yeah, head to whichever strikes your fancy. You, you're sending them to the visions? Sure am. Dude. We're gonna use this. Amon, like, how did it go? <laughs> how did it go? It took longer than expected. What what happened with the roof? And is it your roof? Like, do, do you own a place? Like, your own place? Or is it, like, helping the family? Or what? What happened? Did a tree come crashing down on your roof? Was it raining heavily? Like, I have so many questions about what, what happened with this roof story. Oh my god, the friggin... Ugh. Oh, wait. Chemicals back here. We have to tell the story from the beginning. Drive. Get ready to feast your eyes on the visions. <laughs> the visions. Arda sucks. Hallucination. Hundreds of people, what the? 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesari. Laura worked at Arda as an executive secretary. She put in her hours, but she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like everyone else. But for her, the visions didn't stop. She tried painting them. But grew frustrated at her inability to recreate what she saw. Now at first, Anna wrote her oh. off as one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw. Until How's my battery looking? Hmm. Okay. 
It was a remnant. Once she started using this paint, the visions in her paintings began to come true. She painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day, the paint ran empty. And then, she disappeared. Wow. Like all remnant holders do. Now that we know the remnants in the mass hallucination are related, maybe Laura's visions can help us out. Oh, family home roof, free labor. <laughs> there was a leak and had to look for the source. Ah, got it. Damn. Did the leak, like, ruin your roof, though? Like, do you need to call somebody else to actually, like, repair, repair it? Or... Like, how, how did that work out? Because, yeah, usually it's it's like, okay, you found the source of the leak, but it already did the damage, you know? And then you need to, like, hire somebody else to, to do all their repair work and go through that whole headache. What is that? That doesn't look good. That has very negative energy. I don't like that. What am I supposed to do to get onto those? Okay, I guess I'll just cross the, uh, cross over here. I really need some off-road tires, man. <laughs> you made the repair? Damn, I didn't know you were you were like actually handy, Amon. Oh my god. You're a handyman. That's awesome. Oh, shit. Are your parents also able to do it? Or are you like the only one in the family who has that knowledge? Like, did you learn it from somebody? It's always interesting to me to, to hear about like how people get into knowing how to repair or construct things. It's a form of electromagnetic hmm. imprint. Anyway, it was a long time ago. I'm supposed to do something and up here. Time than now to try it again. What the? What the? <gasps> An unstable anchor. Ooh. Yes, red material, guys. Red material. Finally, I can like get some red material going. Oh my gosh. Yes. But now why was the map telling me that I should go here? What is the significance? How do I get up? Ah, uh, okay. So your dad's an electrician and was a construction worker, so he taught you how to do things yourself. Nice, nice, dude. Super, super helpful. I wish I had that sort of knowledge. Uh, my my dad knows things to a like a more basic sense, but there's there are some things that are like too difficult for him, and he'll still call the repairman. I don't, I can't do anything, man. <laughs> I I think you like, in in my case, the learning will probably happen like when I actually own my own my own space. That's when I'll really start learning the uh what the How do I get up? It's telling it's telling me like this is a this is a place of interest, a point of interest. But it's not actually showing me how to get up here. Hmm. How curious. Oh, scan? Oh, you just scan it. Oh, I just scanned the mural. Sorry, I'm not even looking at the top right what my, like, actual objectives are. I thought I was supposed to get somewhere. That looks cool, though. Look at that. Whoa. Wild. Uh, where, where's that mural? Was it back in the other direction?
There we go. The Bigfoot mural. Ah, the Bigfoot mural. <laughs> My personal favorite. No radio. Shh. No radio. Hey, uh, is it just me or did this mural look different before? Probably the instability messing with the paint over time. It's been decades after all. No, uh, something's something's definitely off. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh, driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? Sure. Dude, my car's status is so bad. I, I actually I actually think I need to I need to go to these and get chemicals for the repair putty. Oh Listen to that crunch of the tires, man. Oh Yikes. My two front tires have like a status effect, a negative status effect. <laughs> Trudging through the water. I'm sure your knowledge, though, Ammon, has uh, saved you quite a bit of money in the long run. Quite a bit of money. You and your dad combined. That is very awesome to hear. What? Is it looks so suspicious. Like, I don't want to touch that. <laughs> I don't want to touch that thing. That looks so ominous. But it, like... Like moves around, you see? It like hovers around. Ooh. Weird. Okay, good, 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 good. Plenty of chances for good materials in here. Let's see, let's see. Can we get a cabinet? Can we get a cabinet? That's what I need. I need the cabinets for the chemicals. Yes. Here's a cabinet. Yes, one chemical. Okay, I think that's enough for one putty so far. Can I get another? Do I hear one more? One more cabinet. Do I hear one more? One more. <sighs> Why are these cabinets so rare? Ah, oh, you're gonna make repair putty so essential. Why do you make them so rare? <laughs> What's like in serious need? Yeah, steel panel up here. The crude bumper, I feel like we might as well just drop that and craft a new one. No point in repairing anything crude. Headlights. Needs an electrician's kit. Let me see if I got that. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Oh, anything lead plated, we gotta treat like gold. I need now a ceiling kit for the damage here. Which I gotta craft. Oh, my health! Oh, no, 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 no. Yikes. This radiation is such a pain. Sealant kit, sealant kit. 
damage. Healing kit. So that can apply to this. What else? Nothing else? What about this? Needs a ceiling kit. Okay. Boom. Beautiful. I think this one is flat too. This this one in the front also needed a ceiling kit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The rest. What is this? A leak? Needs a ceiling kit. Okay, I guess my fuel canister also needs a repair there. Oh, all this lead-plated stuff that's about to break. No! 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 Okay. I guess we can keep visiting the different towers and see. Uh, although I need it to be one of these across the way. Oops. Need it to be one of the um, uh, actual chemical locations, not just an observation tower. Even though the icon looks near identical on the map, there are big differences in what they actually offer. Okay. Put this in the park. Cabinets, cabinets, cabinets. No cabinets, 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 cabinets. Come on. Come on. Here's a cabinet. With no chemicals. Yay! <laughs> Lovely. Maybe we will. Oh, it wants to keep changing stations on me, huh? Oh, I was going to say, maybe we will for once keep the radio on, but it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to. What is this? Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, not good. What is that? It's sizzling. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I am still playing. This is still the same run, Locke. This is still the same run. <laughs> this is what I mean where like I may have been overconfident in judging how far through this game I am. I think I think this may need to be another game like Yakuza that that, that gets uh, gets the chopping block, and I'll just finish it in my own time. Because man, these runs are taking a while. <laughs> Here's the other mural. Okay, cool. We, we we need to scan these murals. That's the current goal. The great pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle. When the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. Fortnite bandage? No chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. Believe me, it's true. I've seen it. Okay, and now we need to go all the way back. Did you see it, Francis? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Francis, look, look, look. Look here. It's different from our sketch when we visited in 82. 
It's all scrambled, but the shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? Oh, Francis, you flippin' genius! It absolutely is! Francis, Francis! The first one. What's different there? That, that shape right there. Is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes! Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus. St. Francis, I told you your basilizer would work. I, I, I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're on to something. Get to that third vision. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, good. And we have a fuel truck here so we can, like, get gas. Because my gas is kind of, kind of, sort of getting low here. Hold up. Let me get this. Uh, where's the fuel pump? Here it is. Oh, I should just pull my car up to the back and I don't need to transfer it with this gas canister. I can just... Let me put, let me put this back in the back here. Boom. Pull the old car up here. Make sure I parked on the right side. I don't know if you guys have done that yet in real life. You gotta make sure you pull up to the gas station on the right, the correct side of your car. <laughs> Park. Get out. There we go. And now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. All right, I think that's all we like. All the fuel we need. We we don't need to really bother filling up the uh, the big gas canister on the side of my car. Okay. So get up here, get to the main road, and then it should be kind of breezy. I think. I believe. Awesome. All right, now we're on the, we're finally on the correct road. Ooh, sizzle. Oh, there's Oh no, these are gateways. I'm wondering how to get um how to get that red energy that I was picking up before. The unstable energy. I need more of that for like the good car upgrades. I noticed too, my car is like leaning to the right. Oh, does it have a flat? It might have a flat. Hold on. This might actually be a flat tire. Needs another ceiling kit, bruh. Ah. Here we go. Oh no, I turned off the car. Oof. Mm, now we go down this way, yeah. Now we go down this way. Uh, 
and then make a right here and down to the final vision and I think once we scan this vision that's it we can we can finally extract and be done with this one whoa I landed on top of a geyser not good my whole car is red Ugh. Everything's breaking, everything's breaking. Man, this map is annoying too, it's so swampy. Everything is connected by like little islands. <laughs> There's hardly like a central road. Oh, there's the mural. I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 don't get near. Okay. At last. The final mural. That's it? That's all they had to say, huh? That's all they had to say on it. Oh! Bingo! Did you see that pattern in the last mural? That flower only grows above a, a certain elevation. Put the three locations together and, and you've got... A square mile in the northeast corner of the deep zone. Huh. Alright. On our way to extract. <laughs> hey, Abby. You can stop pretending to ignore us now. Take a look at this fine work. We've picked down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He still doesn't know, Francis. You know what? I me. Mean, Not my story to share. Oh? Hidden stories between friends, between acquaintances, between colleagues? My theory. They're, uh, illegitimate. Wait, wh what are you saying? I built that device to prove my imprint theory, and it was on the verge of getting the results I needed. But my research funding was running out. So, I forged the data. Not much, just enough to justify more time. I, I was so close. I knew the breakthrough was right around the corner. Okay. But Arna found out. That's why I'm We finally extracted. Oh my goodness, that was like an hour and a half long run or something. <laughs> it must have been. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was an hour long run. Jeez. You identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the auto database, and what turns up? Okay. Access logs with entry records for Dr. K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961 in the lab accident. So we were told. Then I found access logs for both that deep zone site and Red Meadow. Here's a year's worth of activity. Red Meadow Research Facility? But it was demolished the same year. What the? After the structural damage caused by the they uh, lied about that too, didn't they? It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow ruins a visit. You guys saw that bug? I was like swapping my weapons rapidly. It did this. <laughs> as soon as I got out of the car. Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the room for the driver. I... With you, God, I hate saying that. <laughs> Driver, I've marked the Red Meadow facility on your route planner. Head there whenever you're ready. Oh, yeah, if I can just build a workbench within my car, that would be awesome. Can I get a level two workbench within my car? 
Where is it? Fuel, car storage, expansion racks, wheels, car body, lights, survival tools? No. Refine. Where is it? There's got to be something that's... Oh, mobile workbench? Oops. Dude. Oh my god, like, wow. I can only... You get this so late in the game. <laughs> you get this so late in the game. How can they expect... Oh, I, was like, I was excited, like, oh, maybe I can finally start crafting level 2 things in the back of my car now. But I got to deal with this dinky workbench for the next who knows how long. You heard workbench. We playing Minecraft now? Uh... <laughs> not at the moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Just, uh, don't mind me, just venting my, my frustrations with this game. That's it, that's it. The more you play it, the more you realize, like, oh my, why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do that? It's an, it's a, it's a little bit of an annoying one, this one, huh? As the runs get harder, as the game progresses, you start realizing, like, why is it so hard to do basic things in this game? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I can't answer that. Hmm. But, okay. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, I think what I'm going to be doing... And here, let me... <laughs> let me let me get the little... This, this out of here. There we go. I think what I'm going to be doing... And you know what? Why not? We'll, we'll go to the, uh, the cafe a little bit here. Hopefully it's... Hopefully it's working. Oh! I'm down in the bottom. I'm down in the bottom. Here we go. And why is my desk dark? Oh. Here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, don't ask. Don't ask. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm, I was just... It's just a, a, a transitional bug. Don't worry. Um... But I, I just wanted to um, to sit here for a moment and just say to you guys, um, I believe that what I'll be doing is that will probably be the final uh, Pacific Drive stream. Probably, I think so. As well as the final um, Yakuza stream earlier in the earlier in the week. Um, so, uh, well, actually, I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nah, yeah. I'm looking at the poll here in my, in my community tab that I put up a poll for like, um, do you want me to stream more Yakuza 4? Would you prefer uploads of the rest of the playthrough or uh, just play it in your free time and move on? I think it's so far it's 75% say play it in your free time and move on. So I think that's what I'll do. With Yakuza, I'll move on. We'll free up that slot for the week, right? With Pacific Drive, it's had its run. It's been a good, it's been a good run. It's been a good drive. But I think that Pacific Drive, <laughs> I'll also just kind of finish that up in my free time. And uh, this is a lovely game though. I mean, for the most part, there, there's just some frustrating aspects about it, but it, it's a really fun game to stream. I, I did enjoy my time with it a lot. And um, yeah, so basically we now have like three, three free days, three free days. And I'll try to do something cool and neat with them for, for the next week. But then, just as a heads up to you guys, as well. So the hand cam stream is tomorrow. Next week, I'll figure out some streams to do. But I believe, I kind of feel like I might want to just take a break uh, from streaming. Just for like a week or two. Just a little vacation. You know, I'll still be around the Discord at that point if you want to chat with me or hang out with me or whatever. But I think a break is in order. <laughs> <laughs> it's felt especially like busy recently with with the the channel and and life and everything. I, I just I just feel like I need a I need a vacation here. I need a little like breakaway time to like edit videos and do you know some more offline related things. So um, yeah, you guys can probably just expect that moving moving forward into the not not next week. I'll still be streaming next week, but the week after that. I think I'll be taking my vacation. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, buddy. I support you all the way. No, thank you, buddy, for, <laughs> for supporting all the way. Much, much appreciated to everyone who, who is patient with me and sticks around. Uh, ah, yeah, maybe I might even get one of those. No, you know what? I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm not going to not going to talk about ideas that may or may not come to fruition. <laughs> but yeah, everybody, thank you for tuning into the stream. I'm just giving you a little little heads up on what you can expect uh, in the in the near future for the channel. Um, I will be taking my vacation in in like a week or two, probably. So yeah, hand cam stream tomorrow, guys. 8:30. Stop by. I'll be building Legos uh, and and enjoying Easter candy as well. And uh, it, it should just be a good, a nice, a nice vibey time. It should be a nice vibey time tomorrow, 8:30, same time. Um, little little hand cam stream. So we'll see how that ends up going. But yeah, peace out, guys. Peace out. Thank you for hanging out until this point. I will see you tomorrow. Honey bunches of oats. Oh, okay. <laughs> gloved or raw hand? Of course. What does this look like? A raw hand to you? Does this look like a raw hand to you, Locke? This does not look like a raw hand to you. This is a gloved hand. A warm gloved hand. <laughs> Meant for fighting. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Next, you're gonna ask me. Oh, are you gonna be? Are you gonna be short sleeved? Does this look like a short sleeve to you? Huh? Does this, does this look like a short sleeve to you? I didn't think so. So expect this too. To some to some degree, expect this too. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, honey bunches of oats, you guys. Have a great night. Peace.